start this video off by saying thank you for all you guys out there who have been sharing these videos, liking these videos, commenting on these videos, and most importantly, viewing these videos. I'm a very small channel, just hit 7,000 subs, not that massive of a channel, but I've hit a million views. And like I said, I started this channel in February of 2020, just with some mechanic videos, just with me doing some rides, some fun rides and stuff like that, a couple of desert videos, wasn't really gaining traction, wasn't really taking off. It wasn't taking off until after we began solidifying as true drivers together and as me starting to be more of a podcaster than a gig tuber. That's when this channel began taking off. So I appreciate you guys for listening to my podcast as you're out there working, as you're sharing them, as you're laughing together, cracking up together, helping us, you know, rationalize stuff together. And for all the haters out there, get the fuck off the channel. This channel might not be for you. Like I said, a lot of motherfuckers like to complain. Cool. Don't worry. about This channel might not be for you. It's cool. If you go mind your fucking business, we're doing okay without you. Thank you guys for subbing my channel. Thank you guys for viewing these videos and watching the podcast. Let me not forget about that. Christmas week was absolutely horrible. There's no way that this was holiday pay for a week of driving. No way possible. I did Christmas week last year. Made a pretty good chunk of money. This year, yeah, not too much. Okay, the time is now 722. Got 221 miles to go since the last time I drove. A little more than half a tank, so this should be okay. What is it, Tuesday night? Yeah, we did a live stream earlier, so let's go get it in. All right, here we go here. We got a little surge. We're over here at the Mesa Airport 350. No surge anywhere else in town. Everybody is blank. Let me open up Lyft and see what Lyft's got. Because if Uber ain't got nothing at 7.30, I'm going to have to go post up somewhere. What has Liv got? Um, Nothing. I got a 25-ride challenge for 35 bucks, which basically means I don't have a challenge. No surge anywhere on them either. So you know all the rides are going to be trash. I'm sitting in the car. The car is kind of warming up. Like I said, I got a half a tank of gas. I could just go fill up. Or I could just leave it in there. What if? But there's nothing out there right now nothing um let's see what kind of trash they'll send i'm not taking nothing i just want to see something real quick i'm gonna turn it on just to see what kind of shit they offer me i'll probably just turn it off see if they give me some 50 cent a mile rides two dollar mile rides we got 57 drivers at the airport minimum 57 because like i said you got 37 in that that makes 50 so 50 and then you go 20 and 20 plus 30 that's 80 80 drivers in the airport right now you got 80 drivers it's crazy 80 drivers at the airport seven dollar ride if i touch it they're gonna give it to me that's probably for about 11 miles <laughs> let's see it's for about nine there's about nine miles for seven dollars going going up to roosevelt uh no nah, definitely not doing that i don't want to request a match let's dismiss they're gonna try to send it to me or something like that like I said, you got 80 drivers sitting at the airport right now, which is insane. On a dead Tuesday, let's hear him turn this shit off. I don't want to. I don't even want them to match me with that. And then I think over here, what a Paw Patrol is on, but most likely, yep, Paw Patrol. Let's do deliveries and UberX. Let's see what we got. Deliveries and UberX. I probably just turn some shit off real quick. Like I said, I haven't even left my driveway yet. I want to see what else they got out there. If they ain't got shit out there, I'm just going to probably call it good till later on. Like I said, it's, it's a little early right now. <laughs> oh, what? And the clouds are out. It's Tuesday. Everybody's broke. It's about to be Christmas in a couple of days. Well, six days. $2 for some McDonald's. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. I'm cool on that shit. I don't, like I said, you go to McDonald's, you're going to be sitting in line for like 20 fucking minutes. And I'm not doing no 20 minutes to get no $2 because in you do three of those an hour, you're getting $6 an hour delivering McDonald's. And I'm not about to make $6 an hour delivering McDonald's. I'm cool on that shit. So, and I, and I feel bad for those people because they're so close, they could just get in the car and go get it. It's like, they're the same distance I am from the shit. So it's like, dude, why don't you just go get it? It's right around the corner. I'm like, tell me you lazy without telling me you fucking lazy. But then again, they might got a baby that's asleep. And they don't want to leave the baby at home. So like, you know, I don't want to leave my baby at home sleep just to go get some french fries and shit. Then you might want to make you a bowl of cornflakes. Make you some shit to eat at the house. You know, you got throw some biscuits in the motherfucking oven. That shit take like 11 minutes to make biscuits. I know because I do it all the fucking time. Throw some grands in the motherfucking oven. 
get you some eggs out, some sausage out, make you some shit on the spot. Because by the time I take this order, get to there and go to your, be at your house, you could be almost done cooking your shit. And it'll be good shit. McDonald's is not good shit. So I would say throw some biscuits in the oven or get you a bowl of cornflakes, one of the two. But you, you're too close to be doing delivery. That's way too close to be doing delivery. Now, if that motherfucker was like $8, I could do that. Because three times that would be $24 an hour. I could do $24 an hour delivering some fucking french fries. I could do that. But $6 an hour? Nah, I'm cool. Now, look at this. $2.49. They gave me 49 more cents to go 3.6 more miles. I get 49 more cents to go 3.6 miles more than that last one. Yeah, right, right. Let me turn delivery off because they about to fuck with me now. I can already see it. Let me turn delivery off. I don't want to. I don't want to give them the the idea that I'm one of those kind of fucking people. It's like, nah, man. I'm, we too smart for this shit. We in this for profits. I'm not in this shit to stay busy. Gotta stay busy. Anybody want a chicken McNugget? Gotta stay busy. Fuck that shit. Keep the McNuggets right in the motherfucking day. I ain't dealing with them. But yeah, you see all these little restaurants everywhere, looking like motherfucking igloos all over town. Ain't nobody ordering for no igloo. What, you want to fuck a snowball? You want me to order you a snowball for dinner? <laughs> you get a cherry-flavored snowball for dinner from one of these igloos all over town. <laughs> I ain't fucking delivering this shit. Hell no. You know what? Oh, you're going to get... Oh, they took the igloos away. Okay, I don't get the igloos. They said, he ain't on delivery. Take away the igloos, you fucking Eskimo. See, they don't want to have the igloos. All right, about seven miles almost for five bucks. Uh, base 936th Street. That's going back that way, picking up somebody that way and taking them down that way. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. They probably got a dog. I'm looking at the fucking... Nah, they probably got a dog. And I'll tell you how, because Guadalupe is a part of town I hang out in. Everybody's got dogs in Guadalupe. The dogs run wild everywhere. I be taking pictures of my Jeep sometimes, and I be hanging out by this little church. Dogs just walk up to me. Like, it be strange-ass motherfucking dogs, and they not even scared of people. They just walk up to you, sniff around, fucking walk up to the Jeep, looking all in the Jeep like there's some food up in there and shit. I'm like, these dogs is bold as motherfucker. It's like, my dogs will run up to you, sniff you, and take off running. These dogs, they don't run. They just like, we just trying to patrol in the area, motherfucker. That's, that is the official fucking Paw Patrol right there. The old motherfucker just patrol in the area. They just walking around and shit. But, yeah, ain't even no surge over there either. I don't know, 7.30 at night, I've been sitting in the driveway, letting the car warm up for about six minutes. What is that? See, that's what I'm saying, man. I'm not doing that for five. No, cool, man. It ain't nothing out there. I'm going to turn it off and come back later. Fuck this shit. Turning the car off. Let's. All right, car's off. Look at this. $4. Uber X share, man. Hell no. Hell no. I'm about to turn this shit off. Because like I said, they ain't doing nothing good right now. So I just turned my car off. Yeah, I'm going to go in here and fucking relax for a minute. I might lay down until about 9 o'clock. It's only 7.30. Yeah, I'm going to go lay down for a minute. I'll lay down to about, I'm going to set my alarm for 9.30 and go lay down. Okay, I'm sitting in the house right now. I'm actually sitting at the laptop just seeing what kind of rides are out there. And this is pretty much it. 1982 for about almost 38 miles. Pretty much 50 cent a mile. They just pulled everything down because they knew I was going to say no to everything. But that was my last trip there. It was at 420 in the morning. I did a, a reservation. So and that was the only thing I've done ever since then. Like I just haven't been driving. That was on Thursday, December the 21st. We $20 to go. That was that ride they just tried to give me for like 19. I'm not taking that. That's way too far away for 20 bucks. Then... December the 16th was the last day I drove. So it's been about five days since I drove. I drove December the 20, uh, the 16th. I made $26 for that one. Then I drove again uh, last night, Thursday. Or early this morning, rather. Early this morning. And I got another reservation set for early this morning, too. There's an UberX share going like 18 miles for $11. We're not going to do that. But I got a reservation set early this morning. And it's over in Tempe on Scottsdale Road, picking up somebody, bring them to the airport. I mean, it's 3.45 in the morning. I'll be up. Might as well go get them. It's like, I could do that. I could do that. So what I'm going to end up doing is sitting here at the laptop. I'm going through some uh, edits and stuff like that. So I don't know. I guess I'll just sit here and just scout rides from my seat. Whenever something good comes through, I'll go hop in the car and take off and go do it. But it's got to be worth it. Otherwise, I'm not budging. I mean, right now it's 10.22. 
in the middle of the night. It's what December the twenty first, and they have absolutely no surge out there, nowhere. They got a bunch of people looking like they won't rise. That's why you see those gray clouds everywhere. Uh, Seven thirty one for that. Nah, that's picking up somebody from the Mills Mall. Nah, I'm cool on that. We're not going to the mall right now. But they got surge at the other airport, clear across town. It's like, nah, not worth it. So let's see what Lyft's got. Let's see if Lyft's got something. Lyft's got a little surge over in Tempe. What, they got some stuff up in Scottsdale, too? But other than that, nah, probably a little bit just to the east of the airport, downtown at Phoenix. But nothing really. Oh, I got a couple of crazy dogs sleeping around me right now. You're probably wondering, why are you at home with that phone beeping? It's like, yeah, I'm not going to get in my car till something good pops up. Let's see what Lyft's got going. Let's turn them on and see. Let's see what they got going. Uh, Ten bucks for about 13 miles. Nah, that's way too far out to the west that's all the way down man. that's crazy see what uber's talking about seven dollars for that nah that's going down to the mall to pick somebody up to bring them up to now nah, i'm cool on that i'm not for seven bucks no not at 10 something at night and ain't nobody really tipping because like i said i did this airport ride right there and nobody tipped this airport ride i did that one nobody tipped on it even the one before that one was an airport. Nobody tipped on it. And I usually get airport tips. So I'm not getting tips. So no, I'm not touching nothing. Nothing. I'll just sit and watch all that shit. When they start giving me my airport tips, then we'll start talking. Until then, nah. And the airport used to be safe. Used to be a safe bet. Let's see what they talking about. Damn, 14 minutes away? Shit, $11 for almost 30 minutes of driving? And that's going way down South Carolina, man. That is crazy. Like I said, without surge and everything like that, there's no no point in none of it. Uh, just picking up somebody from a sports complex right around the corner from me. And then taking them over to rule. Nah, I'm cool. It's probably somebody playing basketball. I want their funky ass in my car. It's like, nope, nope. You're leaving the sports complex. Trying to ride in the Beamer. Doubt it. You need to ride on the bus. <laughs> Take your ass home in the bus, stanky motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, rotten ass chimichanga eating motherfucker. <laughs> Hold up for a second. Let me go back through here real quick. I know my dog is sitting around like, why is he at home? What is he doing? He should be out working right now. Shit, they just ain't been nothing out. Let's see what they talking about. Yeah, so that's that sports complex around the corner. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Nah, we're good, we're good. Like I said, if, if these apps actually gave us our tips, I would be more inclined to go pick these people up. But when we're not seeing tips and shit like that, and you know, holding on to our tips for 30 days, and then they only give us 10 days to edit a trip or something like that, or audit a trip, nah, forget that. She's going to be right where it is. What are we talking about? Eight bucks for like about 12 miles? Nah, it's crazy. That's going seven miles south to come all the way back? Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Not for eight bucks. Yeah, tonight might not be a good night to scout from the house because I'm not sending no surge areas and they ain't got shit good. So, yeah, I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing. Hold up for a second. Let me get out of that. And that, going to Uber. Uber ain't got shit either. Where am I? Way over here. Yeah, let's close it out. Nope, no updates. Still ain't updated. Since what, November the 17th? All right, it's Friday night. I haven't driven all week. What is about 10 19? I'm still at half a tank. Let me show you what I got as far as fuel goes because I know I always show like how much fuel I got. Uh, that's what I'm sitting at right now. You know, like I said, I've been having that gas since last weekend. That'll tell you right there. I don't drive a lot because if these apps gonna play us and check this shit out, I open my app and it said, Look. West Valley, South Valley is expected to have high earnings for the next hour. So head out now if you want to maximize your earnings. They sent that at 9.56. So almost 20, 30 minutes ago. So I opened up the Uber app because I just want to see what they were talking about. I'm like, well, maybe it's going to surge or something like that. Nope. Check this out. Open that up. Let's go inside of UberX. And I'm going to show you there's nothing out there. 
no surge, no nothing. A bunch of those little four dollar signs everywhere. But you know what that shit means. That means you're going to get about 80 cents a mile. <laughs> That's basically what it means. You're not really getting no money. Let's go in here, open up Lyft real quick. Like I said, I'm still sitting in my driveway right now. Liv got some surge up in Scottsdale Friday night, right before Christmas, Friday night. And this is what they're doing. Uber's trying to send some shit out. What do they got? Look at that. 26 minutes. You can go get some Popeyes. 26 minutes, 6.3 miles. So you're getting about close to $9 an hour with that. About nine bucks an hour. Christmas week. I know another couple of days it'll be Christmas. Today's what? The 20 second something like that and that's what they're paying right now nine dollars an hour basically so i'm like no nah, let, let's not even mess with that shit let's leave that shit alone but i've got you know i'm trying to defrost my windows and everything like that right now so i'm letting the car kind of heat up before i take off let me try something Yeah, it's trying to heat it up a little bit. Get this thing moving. All right. See, there's nothing out there. Look at that. Now you're up to $16, $17 an hour now. Go get some Arby's 13 miles away. So you got $17 an hour, but you got to drive 26 miles to get that $17. Half an hour. What else they got? Um, nine. That's about a dollar a mile. 22 minutes, nine bucks. So that's about $27 an hour right there. 27 to 30 dollars close to 30 because you can do that about two or three times in an hour somebody took that shit quick <laughs> i was like dude give me that 9.93 shit i'll take that motherfuckers whatever motherfucker whatever because if they were if they were giving tips i'd be more inclined to take some of this shit but without tips yeah i'm not touching it i ain't touching none of this shit without tips because that's what they want to do they want to get people desperate enough to take this shit so they can say you guys can go on strike protest all you fucking want we got a bunch of high AR, desperate ass people who ain't had their shit together out here taking these rides. And that's why I'm like, we gotta stay prepared. We gotta look at it. There ain't nothing out there now. Oh, there you go. It's coming back. Yeah, so they've got to sit up there and, and offer all these shit rides. What is Lyft talking about? Five dollars to go up north. That dude's right around the corner from me to go up north. Nah, we ain't gonna do that. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Not for five bucks, because Lyft probably sold that for about twelve. I said, yeah, we sold that for twelve, thirteen dollars. Give it to Jeff for five. I was like, no, nah, I don't want it for five. Keep that. My car ain't even warmed up yet. I'm still sitting there warming up. When the back window is completely defrosted, I'll be ready to rock. All right, what is nine dollars? Oh no, fuck that. Nope, nope. As soon as I clicked on it, they were sending it to me anyways. Okay, this one's eight dollars, four minutes away. What is that? No longer available. Ain't no surge out here either. 916 for about 13 miles, $5 for that. Let's go on down the street and going up the mill. All right, let's take that. Cause I'm headed to Tempe anyways. Go pick up Jessica around the corner. Yeah, my car's not even warmed up yet. Come on car. At least my seats are warm. All right, let's go pick up Jessica real quick. See how this works out. I'm going to Tempe anyway. So it's a quick five bucks to go to Tempe. They probably charge her as like $9 for it. What if? They're always getting us for half the damn price, so let me see if I can at least get my car warmed up. Go pick her up real quick. All right, those were those two little quick short trips right there. Probably no tips at all. See, like I said, no tip. Because right now, because I'm, I'm getting like, and this was a real quick one right here. Three miles, about $2 a mile for that one. Then over here, the first one just got me up here. So I didn't expect much out of that, but it did get me up here. So now that I'm, and the funny thing is, it was uh, girls going to a party. And of course, $5, four people. Once again, that shit, I can't stand that. When people pack a fucking car, you know, and these apps are notorious for that shit. They'll pack your motherfucking car with people, no telling what these people are paying. But if those people took a bus, each person would have to pay at least, you know, $3 to get on the bus. So it would be, you know, $12 right off the bat just for them to ride on the bus. But I get $5 for that shit in a nice ass private fucking car. That's the shit that irritates the fuck out of me right there. It's like, come on, man. They got to quit playing us, trying to play us like that. So 2024, yeah. And the second girl, you know, her, she was actually complaining about the prices. Recent college grad complaining about the prices, saying that she's spending at least $300 per week just getting around because the apps have jacked the prices up. So, of course, I gave her my card. You damn straight I did. 
And I told her, I said, you know what? You know, if you guys need a ride or something like that, you know, she was like, oh, yeah, you know, usually, you know, my roommate's got a car, but if she can't help me, you know, I'm always, you know, going places and I got to use Uber and I got to use Lyft and it's running me about $300 a week just to get around. I was like, bet, say less. Here's my card. And that's how we got to do, you know what I'm saying? If when we see people out here struggling and these apps pushing the economy deep into the ground, I mean, these are people in my community having problems getting around. So, of course, I'm going to help out the people in my community. That's what I'm here for. If we're here to serve our community, let's serve it. It's like we don't need the apps to fucking serve our community. We can serve our community on our own. And that's what we're going to start doing. We're going to start taking over, doing this shit on our own. If, they, if the apps are upset about it, corporate America is upset about it, we don't give a shit. They don't live in our community. They ain't the ones watching us to be broke and stay broke and we can't get off the ground and we can't function because they running the prices too high. Can't nobody afford to do shit. They don't care. So we got to take over and do this shit on our own, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm glad, you know, to talk to customers and riders and they start telling us stuff like, hey, man, this shit's expensive, man. We don't know how to function, you know. We don't know how to do this and do that. Cool, that's what we're here for. We're here to hear that. Because if we're going to serve the community, let us serve the community. I ain't worried about these fucking apps. Hey, so I'm sitting over here chilling right now, still in Tempe. Uh, let me go online real quick with Uber, see what Uber's got to offer. Not now. Let's go over to Lyft, see what Lyft's got. They got a little surge jumping right down the street, but nothing worth it. So I'm not budging from where it's probably about a mile away for 225. So it's about a dollar a mile to cruise over there. Not really worth me even moving because they ain't got shit to offer anyways. It's a bunch of real short trips. So let me hit this real quick. But it's not only the fact that they're short, but they're short and not paying nothing. So now I'm down in Guadalupe, they got money jumping down there. I'm not trying to drive down there. Nah. They ain't offering enough money to move my car that far. Let's see what Uber's talking about. Probably some Uber Eats. 1081 to go downtown. I don't want to do that. $4 to go about two miles. It's about $2 a mile. And let's take that one. I'll do the. No, that's about a dollar a mile. Shit. Eh, hold up for a second. So I'm not doing anything on Uber. So let's get out of Uber real quick. Still not updating my shit. Nope. So let me cruise over here. See if I can't go pick this motherfucker up. Hopefully end up getting near some surge or something like that. But right now there's nothing anywhere I go. There's like, it's like dead out. Friday night, dead. Cannot believe these apps are doing us like this. Cannot believe it. Like after all the years we've spent building these apps up, getting the customer base to believe in these apps, to believe that they can get a ride, all they gotta do is request a ride, and for us to end up like this. That's some crazy shit right there, that's crazy shit. Put forth all that effort, all that energy, and this is how we end up getting treated at the end of the day. Man, cannot believe it, cannot believe it. And a lot of us was gonna do this as a career, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of us got six, seven years, nine years doing this. I got four years going on five. Next year will be five. And I'm like, I don't know if I can make this as a career. If this is how it's going to be, I don't think I can do this as a career. I'm going to have to become a private driver. I'm going to have to work for somebody who, you know, is willing to pay some money to support my life. Because this shit right here, it'll run you into a hole. You end up, you know, in poverty, working for fucking 50 cent a mile, 30 cent a mile, spending all your gas, all your time spending hours and hours outside of your house trying to run for profit rides instead of all these cheap ass rides because you know something's going to happen to your car and when it happens to your car if you ain't got no money to fix it you just did all these rides for nothing and what are the apps are going to say well we can help you get a discount repair at this place instead of you paying 1600 they'll take off 10 percent now you can pay 1500 save yourself 160 dollars ain't fuck that i can go get the parts for 500 my damn self just do it myself in a driveway so if i'm gonna be fixing my own parts anyways I might as well just do the rides private. Don't even worry about the apps. Because they're not doing anything they can do in their power to take care of us as families and stuff like that. They're really out here running people ragged. And the shit's sad. It's sad that this is what it's come to. That we have to sit up here and go on strike and, and argue with, you know, riders and passengers about how much we're being paid. And all this, I mean, this shit is getting crazy right now. It's getting crazy. Okay, I pulled up here to pick her up but you know i can't stand this shit you know you pick up a motherfucker and all of a sudden they don't come out the goddamn building and i'm i've been sitting there for a couple of minutes and she ain't fucking moved so and y'all know what i do man when i see motherfuckers doing that shit i'm cool on that 
cancel this shit. Don't want this ride. I mean, it was a $4 fucking ride. Don't have me waiting. I mean, I hate the fact that, you know, the lady's probably walking out the building right now like, oh shit, my ride. Yeah, motherfucker, I was there for about a minute. It's like, you gotta, it's a $4 ride. You gotta come out the fucking building. This is only four bucks for me. You gotta call another fucking Uber. Like, I don't play that shit. Like, no, no. And then they got this. No, I'm not doing that. No. Y'all motherfuckers are not gonna have me bouncing all over town all night for fucking $4 rides. We're not doing that shit. I mean, if you're not paying me, I'm not fucking budging. Seven dollars for that? Nope, not doing that either. You gotta pay me more than that. You motherfuckers have me come over here and now you gotta pay. I'm gonna go park at a, a gas station or something. Or here's a jack in the box. I'm gonna go park up here at this jack in the box and kick back for a while. Let's just slow motherfucker turn. If he turns, I'm not turning. Okay, he's not turning. I'm turning. Then stand drop behind slow motherfuckers. So I'm gonna go kick over, kick back over here for a second. Kind of scout rise from this parking lot. Like I said, I don't like that shit. Don't have me fucking waiting for four dollars. And we gotta be like that, you know what I'm saying? It's shitty that we gotta do that, but we need to let these motherfuckers know our time is worth too much. Y'all ain't tipping any fucking way, so what do I care if you gotta get another ride? I don't care. I'm not getting tipped. So it's like, shit, fuck it. Motherfucker ain't come out the building, cancel them. Let them get the next fucking ride. My riders, he said they're charging $60. Lyft is charging $60 to go to the airport right now. $60. Look at that. 20, 31 miles for $22, and that's with a surge. Doubt it. Don't even think so. But he said they're charging uh, $60 for him to go to the airport. They would, And he said he was trying to book the ride earlier. $60. And I was like, damn, I was like, were well, you trying to set a reservation or something? He says, yeah, because I got to go at like 5 in the morning. So I gave him my card. I was like, well, here you go. Is that mold? I said, well, here you go, dog. Just hit me up, you know, if you got to get to the airport or whatever. If you can't find a ride, I should still be out. Hopefully I am. And I'll probably charge his ass like 30 35 I mean, the apps will pay me 20 25 for a reservation on Uber, but I'll charge him 30 35 So he's like, all right, man, that, that'll work. That'll work for me. I said, well, just hit me up, man. So hopefully you'll hit me up early in the morning. But he said they were charging him $60. $60. i am like, man, that's fucking nuts. Let's go back and pick this motherfucker up. I'll do that ride right there. Whoops. All right, go pick up Sue Hoon. Sue Hoon. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. I was like, man, they're really ripping people off right now. I mean, $60 to go, and, and we're in like Tempe Mesa. That's probably about nine miles. That's it, nine miles. $60 to go nine miles. That's fucking craziness, craziness. I've been out cruising, you know, since what, 10.30 is like, so almost, almost two and a half hours I've been out. About two and a half hours just seeing what was out here. Got me a couple of hot dogs and shit. So... Like, I guess they want me to go to the airport to pick up somebody from the airport. That's about 10 miles for seven bucks. What's Uber talking about over here? Hold up. Yeah, a bunch of bullshit. Uber ain't even, I can't even worry about Uber, man. Uber's just on some other shit right now. But yeah, but that right there, you know, I did this 25, so I've made $35 all week so far. Drove for almost an hour. Booked 20 miles. Lyft is losing 10 bucks on me, but the point is that, I mean, an hour and 43 minutes, five rides, that's all I did all week, because I mean, you can look at my, my weekly activity, look at that shit, 13 miles for $11, nah, I'm cool on that, both apps sending me rides like crazy right now, trying to get me to do dumbass rides, it's like, nah, 1.8 miles, nah, that's about 7 miles for 6, seven, nah, and it's December the 22nd right now, we're the 23rd now, a couple of days before Christmas, and they're jacking up these prices of these rides for these people to get around saying that there's a shortage of drivers. There's not a shortage of drivers. There's a shortage of drivers that are driving for bullshit right now. That's it. We got enough drivers out, but just ain't nobody taking no bullshit. Like that stuff. I'm not going all the way down the baseline for that. I mean, that's like seven to almost 20 minutes for six seventy six. So let's say $7. So you can do that three times an hour. That's $21 an hour on my own fuel. $21 an hour, but it's on my gas. I run about $5, 5 to $7 an hour. So I'm making between $10 and $12 an hour profit. $10 to $12 an hour. So in 10 hours, I made $100 profit for the day driving for 10 hours, doing shit like that. No, nah, $100 a day ain't gonna cut it. Not in profit, 100 bucks, because I still gotta pay for my house. I have to pay for food. 
the wear and tear I'm putting on this car, the value of this car going into the hole. Then I got to save money for when I'm retiring from this shit and not doing it no more. Because why am I driving, making a retirement plan for the people at corporate? They're getting retirement plans, but I'm not. And I'm the one doing the fucking work. Look at that shit. $26, man, that's what, 27 miles going way down south. No, nah, I doubt it. If I was down south coming back, that's one thing. $7 for like 10 miles? Nah, I'm cool on that shit too. Yeah, I'm gonna turn Uber off because Uber, they've been, they been garbage all night. I still ain't updated since November the 17th. I'm not updating because they ain't putting no shit on there. But yeah, that's the kind of shit they're doing right now. They're sending their heavy people. They're having you pick up people from the airport and they're charging these people like $90 to leave the airport, but they're paying you $26. Shit like that. Comfort from the airport right now. 12 fit almost one o'clock in the morning they're charging people like 85 90 dollars to get out of that airport right now 13 dollars for like 18 19 miles nah nah that's way too far up that's over 30 minutes that's 26 dollars an hour right there so 26 bucks an hour on my gas though so like i said i'm running about five dollars and that's a pretty a good distance right there so that's going to be about you know two gallons of gas right there almost so I'm running almost two gallons of gas. That's about $10 right there. So instead of 26, I'm making 16 an hour. Like I said, you've got to understand, man, this is, we've got to make the profits that we need to take care of the lives we live. If we're doing this for a living, we have to make a living. We're not making a living. We're just out here fucking busy driving around streets and shit. We're not making a living. So if you might not making a living, why the fuck are you doing it? You got to ask yourself that shit sometimes. Like this shit right here. Not doing that. That's going way too far. So that's going way down the baseline. I'm not going to baseline. They probably charge that person 15 bucks. They don't give me five. Just thinking, we're not making a living. If we ain't making a living, we can't provide a living for these people at corporate. We can't provide a living for these shareholders. We're the drivers doing the fucking work. We got to make a living. So if, how stupid does that look? We ain't making no fucking living, but everybody else is eating good. Not doing that shit. Everybody else is eating, shareholders eating good, profits going through the fucking roof, rich as a motherfucker. Everybody at corporate getting raises and bonuses, and everybody in legal getting money, and everybody's getting bonuses and raises, and everybody's getting all, and yet the motherfuckers doing the work, out here in the streets doing the work, are struggling, getting evicted, can't afford new tires on a fucking car because we barely fucking making profits to cover life. Shit don't make no sense. You can't be out here doing this shit, trying to make a living, they're not giving you enough to make a living, but they're telling you, do this shit so we can make a living as corporate people. We need to make a living having the positions we have, the titles we have, the offices, the cubicles and shit we got. You guys got to pay for this. Y'all need to get out in these fucking streets and drive for us. This is plantation economy, I'm telling you. It's plantation economics right here. Get motherfuckers out there that's struggling, don't have nothing, barely surviving. Borrowing money, getting fucking payday loans and shit to pay off other payday loans. But then turning around, these motherfuckers making record profits on our backs. Shit don't make no sense. And that's why I think everybody right now is just fed up. This is going to be one of the biggest protests I think that has ever happened with ride share. Because I think it was spotty at first. A couple of people would do it here. A couple of people would do it there. A city would do it here. Two months passes. No, I think this shit's going to be something different. We're just like what happened to Bud Light. We're about to see something massive fucking happen right now. These companies are playing games with American lives. They're allowing immigrants to come onto the apps. Everybody's selling their accounts. People are having three, four, five accounts selling their accounts so people can use them and everybody's getting money off of other people getting money. People running cars fucking 24 hours a day because three and four people are using the same car on the apps. And the apps ain't stupid. They see the car. They see the license plate number. They see all this shit being on the same app. They're like, damn, man, this car is on two different accounts. Motherfucker, well, the car that's on my wife account can also be on the husband account. Cool. Well, that's my brother car, but I use it on my account too. Me and my brother share a car. Cool. Okay. But it's not even like that now. It's people coming to this country that don't have a car. They're all using the same car. This car is running 24 hours a day. These motherfuckers that hurts and everybody else, we can't even afford to replace tires no more. They're trying to make drivers pay for the tires because they know these cars are being driven by more than one person. When you got a rental car company that can't afford putting tires on a fucking car, that car is being driven like a mother. They know that shit. Something's wrong with that. 
You know, eight dollars to go way to man, hell no. Nah, that's eleven miles in the other direction almost. And so these people ain't stupid. They know what's going on. So what we do is we sit here and we decline rides. And we say, get the money right, because we know how much y'all charging these fucking people. We know we ain't stupid. We know y'all doing it for the profits and the revenues. I mean, all these insurance companies and shit that's not paying for any time people have wrecks and shit on Uber and Lyft. Ain't nobody paying for the fucking wrecks, but they charging us premiums for every fucking ride we do. You charging us insurance for every ride we do. But people are having wrecks while driving Uber, while driving Lyft. And these companies are like, we ain't covering that shit. We gonna deny that claim. Why are you charging people insurance on every single ride? And then when it comes time to fix their shit, you saying we ain't gonna deal with that claim. You're ripping people off. You're ripping people off. You're charging people fucking two, three hundred dollars a week in insurance. Sometimes you're charging people two, three hundred a day, depending on where they're going, in insurance. And then you turn around and tell somebody, well, we're gonna deny the claim. So what did you do with the money? You pocketed the money. Eight dollars to go to the airport. Nah, that, air, that airport's way too fucking busy. Nope. Eight dollars to go to the airport. Motherfucker sent me a, a message earlier saying, Jeff, look at this. I was like, damn, is that Terminal 3? It was like, yep. I was like, holy shit. It was at a standstill. And I'm like, I'm not going to no airport for no $8. Hell no. And look at that. That's taking somebody to the airport. Seven bucks. Just like dude said they was charging him $60 to go to the airport. And they was only, it was like almost 10 miles. 10 miles, they was charging him $60 to go to the airport. That right there was about five miles. So you know that person paid $30, $40 for that ride to the airport, but they willing to give me $7. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Nope, nope, cool on that. People need to have a driver's phone number in your pocket. If you ain't got driver's phone numbers around, you motherfuckers gonna be stranded. Okay, I did one trip on Uber and it pissed me off. That was the last one I canceled because I was pissed off. But what happened was on this 26, you see where it says recalculated. It says 20 minutes, 21 miles. That's supposed to be, instead of 21 miles, they had to go 24 miles, and it was for $35. They had to go 24 miles, and they were going to where I wanted to go, and it was $35.58. There was some surge down here in Chandler. I was going to go down to Chandler and work for a while. So I took it from downtown down to Chandler. I was about to work, and it was downtown Chandler where everybody was letting out. They was like, I don't know why they put downtown Chandler. We live like a few miles from there. It was about three miles before downtown Chandler. So I'm like, these raggedy motherfuckers, they put, they only had to go about 22 miles, but they put 24 on the actual trip. It was 35. So for two miles, almost three miles, they took off like $10. They're not paying me $3 a mile. So why in the fuck would they take $3 a mile just because Uber put the wrong address in and had these people going downtown Chandler in that area when they were only a like, couple of miles before I got there? So they were like, well, since you didn't go the full way, we're going to take off like $10. Ain't that some shit? That was a $35 trip. I ended up getting 26 bucks because instead of going 24, I went 21.72. That's bullshit. Instead of 20, it was supposed to be 24 minutes, not 20 minutes. I was like, $35, 24 minutes going right to the area I'm trying to get to. Let's do it. These motherfuckers jipped me. And I sat there and I sent them a request saying, you know, fair review. And they said, no, the fare is correct because it was the drop off was closer. I'm like, motherfucker, it was like two, three miles closer. And you took off $10. That shit don't make no sense to me. This is like I said, anytime you want to do a nature hike or anything with Uber, I'm going to start saying, I'm going to need the fucking money up front from the rider. I don't trust Uber no more. That was a $35 fucking trip, and I trusted I was going to get $35 for it. I didn't think it was going to change the address. I thought the address was correct. I thought I was getting $35 fucking dollars, and I got $26. No tip or nothing on that. And so if we're going to start playing this fucking game, when somebody gets in my car, I'm going to let him know off the bat. Listen, they want $20 for this trip. I'm a, I don't know how much you paid for it, but I do it for 35, 40 bucks. Oh, cool. Well, we'll just do it up under you. Cool. Perfect. Because if I'm going to sit up there and do this shit and they're going to take away $8, $9 off of what I'm trying to do because the trip went a little bit closer, then that irritates the shit out of me right there.
Because that's money that they're taking out of my pocket. They're not paying me no $3 a fucking mile. So why are you taking away $3 a mile? Shit don't make no sense, man. Don't make no damn sense. So that's why I'm like, you know what? If we're going to start doing it this way, let's start getting cash up front. Fuck Uber. I'll cancel the motherfucking trip on the spot. They're going to fuck me anyways. So I might as well get the money. If you're going to fuck me, I might as well just get the money from the ride or fuck the app. So you've seen how slow it's been. That was already like three nights right there you've seen so far on the video. Now I'm about to get into Christmas Eve. But this is what I've made so far, Christmas 2023. Everything you've seen is all I've made. You saw in 2022, it was thousands made by then. I think I made like $1,700 on the apps and probably about another three, 400 in cash tips last year. This year, you what you've seen is what's been going on. This is how slow shit's been. All right, it's 1038 Christmas Eve night. I went to the gas station and filled up real quick. I was down to about 80 miles. So I was like, ah, let's go ahead and fill it up. So here we are, Christmas Eve night. I'm downtown. I had to go drop somebody off somewhere. It was like a little quick private ride. But now I'm going to do some work downtown to see if I can get something done down here. Here we go, downtown Phoenix. Let's see what we got. 225 bonus. Yeah, they put me right at the end of it. So they gave me 225. I don't know. 15 miles for that? I don't think so. Yeah, 19 miles right off the bat for 15 bucks? We're not going to do that. We're going to wait for something a little bit better while I'm down here. Let's see what else they got going on. They got, what, a 325 around the corner. That's about a mile and a half away, so it's not even worth me going down there to pick up that buck. So let me sit here and see what they got. I'm at the quick trip hanging out with my little 400 buck, $400, 400 miles worth of gas in here. $5 for that. Yeah, 225. Damn, they're trying to pay me 275 for that. It says something about a medical center. I don't want to go do no medical center rides for no five dollars right now. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's an employee getting off or what the hell's going on, but for five dollars, nah, I'm cool on that shit. Nope, nope. They can find another driver for that. Now I'm a three dollar bonus. All right. Let's see what we got going. I said I'm gonna pull over here and kind of sit and chill real quick. See what kind of money we can get while we downtown. Like I said, I'm not really trying to trying to make a killing down here. I just want to see if I can make about 50, 60 bucks before I go home. Shoot, that's only about, like I said, if I can do a couple of rides, 20 bucks a pop, that's three rides. Do three rides and I'm good to go. So let's see what we got. Got a lot of homeless people hanging out down here too. It's like, man, I don't feel like being bothered right now. Y'all just let me park and relax and chill. Do not bother me. $12 for like 14 miles. Nah. Yeah, I'm not trying to do that right now. It's like, no, nah, I'm cool on that shit. So let them give me something a little shorter than that. Give me about, you know, three, four miles. I'll take three, four miles for about, you know, nine, ten dollars. I'll do something like that. But with the shit they're sending out right now, yeah, I'm not messing with that. I said, I'll stay out to about probably one in the morning and see what I can do. After that, I'm going to head home, shoot, eat me something, kick back, relax, watch me some Netflix. But I don't know, man. Like I said, it's Christmas Eve night, and that's what these motherfuckers doing. Let's see what Uber's got going. Damn, they got cops everywhere throwing the lights on. What the hell? Cops is all over the place. They doing the night. Let's see if Uber's got some surge going. Nope. Hit the button. and ain't nothing there. Nothing there. Yeesh. Yeah, I might not even want to run Uber. Uber's gonna probably going to give me like fucking 50 cent a mile rides and shit. It's like I don't deal with them. Especially, like, like I said, Christmas Eve nights. Look at that. What is that right there? 910 for about 15 miles. 892 for about 12. 6 for about 10. 6 for about 8. 8 for about 12 miles. Nah. So they, they doing some shit. Damn, this is 14 minutes away. Uh, No, no, I'm cool on that shit. That's about, what, 26, 23 miles? Yeah, we won't be doing that. That's $19 for like 23 miles. Like, hell no. It's like, no, we cool on that shit. Doop, doop. And they got, what, six bucks and stuff over there? They ain't got nothing downtown Phoenix now. They be driving up the surge quick as hell once they get a car down there. Like I said, at my house, it was all surge down here. I did my little quick ride, but now I'm like, shh, sitting down here like, yeah, I should probably just go on back home. <laughs> Like I said, it was only a little $35 ride. It wasn't nothing. But I'm like, you know, I appreciate when my people look me up. 
but I had to drive about, you know, six, seven miles to get to them, then bring them downtown. So that was probably close to about, I'd say about 20 miles maybe. Close to about 20 miles for $35. Not bad, almost $2 a mile. You know, I don't try to rip people off. But, you know, the app would have did it for that long. The app would have probably gave me like $13 for that shit. And I was like, e I made three times the amount of what an app would have probably paid my ass for that. You had to go six miles to get somebody, bring them fucking 13, 14 miles the other way. It's like, nah. $7? No, nah, that's not even fucking, look at that. Dollar mile. I'm cool on that shit. That right there is 10, like 11 miles for like $8. Yeah, it ain't got nothing good going on right now. Look at all the surges all over town. That's probably $5, $4.50. They got surge all over town, but it's like wherever you're not. And it's like little bitty pockets everywhere. Nah, eight eight miles for six fifty seven. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. We ain't doing that. Nah, nah, we cool on that. Let's see what's in here. They gave me my damn nope, still no tips. Opt in for extended coverage. Doubt it. Y'all ain't taking no more money out of me than y'all motherfuckers already get. And then on top of that, they'll get you for extended coverage and not cover you for shit. Oh, yo, well, you know, it's only for American-made cars. You've got a BMW. That's a German car. Sorry. We, we should have probably told you we don't cover German cars. Yeah, they'll tell you anything once you fucking try to call in for the claim. They don't tell you shit. Oh, yeah, we cover everything. You know, just start paying and just sign up for it, and we'll take a little bit out of every fucking ride. And psh, by the time you say, hey, I need coverage. Oh, we should have told you we don't cover Beamers. Oh, somebody should have told you that. Well, can I get my fucking 300 y'all done took? No, no, we can't give you the money back, but we can opt you out of the program. <laughs> it's like, I bet you can. Motherfucker, once they get your ass, they can opt out right after that. They just tried to send me that shit. Eight miles for seven bucks. Nope. Nope. And these motherfuckers over here. Like They're going to keep throwing up surge every once in a while, but it ain't nobody going to be taking no rides. Let's see what they talking about over here. Nah, 657 for like eight miles? Nah. We cool on that shit. Cool on that. All right, what else we got? $3 surge sitting on it. What do you guys got? Give me at least, you know, fucking 10 bucks and I'll move. Not for that, though. 10 bucks for like 12 miles? No. I want 10 bucks for like three miles. Give me 10 bucks for three miles. Not that. 20 miles for $16? No. No. Yeah, we're not doing that. that. That's crazy right there. Like I said, and this is Christmas Eve night, and people be wondering why they can't get nowhere. Now, I would, you know, damn, $4 bonus? Damn, damn, 30 miles for $22? Hell no. Going way south, then going way west. Yeah, we're not doing that. 30 miles for $22? Nah, we cool on that. What we got over here? Uh, $9 for nine miles? Nope, six dollars for about seven miles. Nope, it ain't got nothing good jumping right now. I said we gonna just kind of kick back. Uber ain't got no surge where I'm at. Look at these all these garbage trips, man, all garbage. Dollar a mile. This right here is about two dollars a mile. Half mile away for a two mile trip, six oh seven. That's not a bad trip, but that dude's a four point seven one. He's probably a fucking homeless dude. At a 4.71, yeah, not not tonight, not tonight. Let's just shut him. I'm down to 10%. Nope, I don't update. Nope, down to 10% AR. Yeesh. Yeah, I ain't gonna update. I said with a 4.7, yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that. Not tonight. I'm cool on that shit. Man, what the hell? Let's see if I can get me some some uh, defroster going up in here. Jeez. Yeah, give me some little defroster going. Clear these windows up a little bit. We got so much humidity out here. It's like fog dropping and shit, man. It's like, this is crazy. This is not what I'm used to out here. Hell no. But yeah, all the homeless people at, at Circle K is, is a riot. They got a girl looking like fucking, she like she finna go yodeling and shit like that. She got motherfucking backpack and long socks on and shorts and shit. She finna go yodeling. <laughs> <laughs> she stand up next to the fucking gas pump. Damn, that car is fucked up. I just noticed that car. That motherfucker got rear-ended. Fucked up. Damn, totaled that motherfucker. And they still driving. And the brakes work. Oh, shit, the brake lights are even on. The whole back of the car smashed the fuck up. And the brake lights still work. That shit's fucking crazy. Damn, tore that fucking car up. Yeah. 
That's the thing right there, boy. Motherfucker gotta get that shit fixed. You might wanna take that to the salvage yard, buddy. That's done. All right, Lyft ain't sending nothing. Let's go ahead and turn on motherfucking Uber real quick. Let's see what Uber got. Yeah, usually when you turn on Uber, Lyft's gonna try to send you something to keep you on their shit. I'm like, bro, drive for us, drive for us. Like, shit. Nope, dollar a mile right there. Nah, I don't think so. It's nine dollars for nine miles. Nope, we cool on that. And they got, what, 450 at the airport up until midnight. Every ride you get to the airport or from the airport, but let's see if they got something going on over there. Damn, it's 50, 56 to 60 cars in the queue right now. 27 flights landed. Damn, it's only three miles away, but I'm not going over there. Damn, $10 to go up to Glendale. That's almost 16 miles. Nah, we cool on that. Yeah, that shit's nuts. That shit is craziness. Craziness. Yeah, y'all just tried to send me that. I'm not doing that. Nope, nope. Not going up to Glendale for no $10. Cool on that shit. $11 for 41 minutes. Johnny walks. 41 minutes. You're going to go pick it up somewhere on Highland over here. And then take that shit all the way up to Scottsdale, 15 miles away, $11. <laughs> it's like 41 minutes, man. You're making $11 an hour basically on, on Christmas Eve night. Man, ain't nobody trying to do that shit. I swear to God, the more prices I see on this shit, the more I want to just go get me a motherfucking W-2. I just can't stand motherfuckers trying to tell me what to do when I already know what to do. Because some people, like I said, middle management, I was never a, a horrible middle manager. We hired people to know what to do. I never told nobody what to do. If your work was done and your shit was okay and all our numbers came out right, that's all I cared about. But it's like, I was never hovering over motherfucking helicopter and then they all, hey man, are you working today or what? What's going on, Johnny? Are you working? Man, I don't give a fuck if you're working or not. If your numbers are fucked up and it's not done by the time we ready, I'm gonna know you've been tricking off all fucking day. That's how I know. I don't need to go fucking tra like tracking people now trying to find out where they are. I was never like that. But you getting these motherfucking new corporate people now, all they do is track motherfuckers now. Hey, are you in the office or are you at the coffee machine? What you doing? Like, motherfucker, where you think I am? I'm minding my business where you should be. The fuck away from me. So I don't think I could do a W-2. Now with these new age motherfuckers, I, I think I'm going to go report you and, you know, make myself busy today and go write me a report on somebody. You know, go write your report on somebody, motherfucker. How about you write it on me? Tell me, say, hey, Jeff told me to fuck off twice. Write that in your report. <laughs> like shit. Here we go, four miles away, damn, what's that, 12, 13 miles almost for $11? Nah, cool on that shit. I think Lyft ain't sending me nothing else. These motherfuckers throttling me now. They mad at me now. I'm trying to get somebody to go over here. Where's that at? Oh, Scottsdale is way over there. They're trying to get somebody to go up in this little Arcadia area. Wherever this is, yeah, this is like all like little Arcadias and shit like that. That's what they're trying to get people to go because they got Christmas parties and shit jumping tonight. I know what they're trying to do, but nah, this shit ain't gonna happen. $12 to go to Scottsdale. Nah. $5.90. Nah, we cool on that shit. And that's about what? Six miles? Nah. Yeah, I probably that I probably just did my private ride. I'm gonna call it good. Cause like I said, cause this shit tonight, yeah, I probably won't be bothering these motherfuckers, man. They ain't got they ain't got really nothing worth driving for out here. Ain't no surge. Christmas Eve night. It's damn near midnight. It's like, yeah. I think I'm about ready to head to the motherfucking house. All right, let's turn this shit off. Yeah, I'm probably just going to head my... Damn, I'm down to, what, 9%? Holy shit, I'm up under 10, finally. Took me long enough, motherfucker. I'm under 10. First time ever. First time ever, I'm under 10%. 9% AR. 31% cancels. I'm in the league now, motherfucker. Now I'm in the league. Yeah, but this is where I am right now, and I got to go over here where it says Contempo Tempe. So I'm about to jump my ass on the 10. Well, I'm going to shoot across the 202 and down. By where it says seven drivers, I'm going to curve through there and take my ass home. But, yep, I'm probably not going to do shit. I'll leave Lyft running, but, yeah, I'm going to listen to me some motherfucking music and call this shit a night. Two goose eggs on Christmas Eve from them, one private ride for 35. I'm cool on that shit. As you can see, so far, I've been getting my ass kicked all Christmas week. I ain't made a dime. I mean, my highest, my biggest ride at the point up to this point, was a $35 private ride. I mean, that's how garbage Christmas week was. 
2023. Oh, it is Christmas, 2.43 p.m., Christmas Day. And of course, guess where the surge is? Across the street from me, over on top of my neighbor's house on Uber. And then when you go over to Lyft, check this shit out. I bet it's the same shit on Lyft. Because they always do this shit. They always do it. Where's the surge at over here? Nowhere to be found. Yeah, exactly. So they got some surge downtown, Phoenix and stuff like that. None all over town, except like over in Tempe and shit like that. Um, $2 to $5 every, well, how many hours are we going to do that shit? They don't show. It's going to be bonus hours today, but <clears throat> they're not going to show when it is. I'm not turning on that yet. Let's turn on Uber first just to see what they got going. Like I said, across the street from me is Surge, but at my house is no Surge. They do that shit all the time. Sometimes they'll sit Surge on my house, and I'll be like, hey, I ain't got to go nowhere. I got Surge. But normally, nah. They put that shit on top of my neighbor's house like I should have bought the house across the street. <laughs> Earlier today, they had $12 sitting on top of the airport. I was like, damn, 12 bucks? That's what's up. But so far, nah, it ain't nothing. Ain't had a tip in a while. I haven't driven in a few days, though, on this thing. Because, like I said, they ain't been giving us, you know, nothing worth driving for. So, I haven't been moving this car. Got up this morning. I mean, here we go. Let's see what we got. Uh, four and a half miles away for that? Nope. Uh, seven. No, none of these are good. They're all garbage trips. In your request to see what else we got in here. He said everything's like four or five miles away. That's four four point eight miles, four point five, five point six, then seven dollars for some Chinese food, twenty-one dollars for some more Chinese food. That's for an hour of driving, twenty-one bucks. It's like, yeah, nah. Thirteen miles total for that. Nah. I don't like none of these. Somebody's gonna have fun with that one. That's two deliveries, actually. Two deliveries for Chinese food. 21 bucks for about an hour on Christmas Day. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Let's try to go for $60 an hour today. Let's see what we got. So I'm going to drop south, cruise around, pick up this $3 surge, and see what they got going. So it is a nice day out. 78 degrees. Man, it is nice out today. Hey, hey, hey. Merry Christmas to y'all, too. Y'all, my neighbors, is everybody sitting out on their porches and shit, and ain't no kids riding no bikes nowhere. Usually you wake up on Christmas morning, kids are riding bikes and everything, so I guess everybody still got their bikes from last year. $11 for like 20 miles. Not on Christmas, we not. Nope, that's coal in your stockings. Hey, there's a kid on a bike right there. Knew it. Oh, two kids on bikes. Told you, I know how Christmas work, man. Kids on bikes every Christmas. Okay, cool, thank you. Appreciate it. There's a couple of kids on bikes for Christmas. Uh, what do we got? Some more trip radar shit going on. Yeah, a bunch of fucking garbage trips. $23 for 47 minutes for some hoagies and shit. No, we cool on that. I'm not doing that either. Like I said, I just don't feel like being tip baited today, so I ain't gonna do no deliveries. Motherfuckers is in a tip baiting because they, they figured out how to tip bait. A lot of people figured that shit out. Look at that. $24 for an hour and 10 minutes to go get some Chinese food to do two deliveries. Man, that's a long ass drive. All the way to Butte Lane in Gilbert. You know how fucking far that is? Butte Lane is over by the other airport. And I'm like, I'm at Sky Harbor. That's way over by the other airport. Man, that is nuts. For $24? No, that's like a $50, $60 ride right there. You don't do that for no $24. And you doing two deliveries, getting out the car? I mean, it's not a bad day to get out the car, actually. It's, it's a pretty good day. But still, it's like, no, I'm not getting out the car and shit, not for no $24. All right, let's see what we got. $7 for about five miles. Nah, we cool on that shit. And that's with a surge. Nope, nope. Let's see what else we got in trip radar here. I'm just cruising. Like I said, I'm going to probably cruise up here. I already ate already. So I'll probably end up, you know, getting me something to eat a little later on. Probably about 6, 7 p.m. Because I didn't eat a lot. I don't like to eat a big breakfast before I start driving and shit like that. All right, $10 for 12 miles. No, not $10 for 14 miles, and that's with a 225. No, cool on that shit. I'm going to go sit up here and park in this parking lot by where this $3 is and kind of pluck rides for a minute. But $14 for like 16 miles. No, cool on that shit. And that's Uber X shared. Not on Christmas, it's not. 580 for 6 miles. No, I doubt it. cruise up here real quick. I'm going to sit right here and kind of kick back for a second. 16 for what? Is that about fucking 25 miles for 16 bucks? 
Oh, we cool on that shit. What's Trip Radar got? A bunch of garbage in there. Man, Trip Radar is not being friendly today. Yeah, 545 for that. Nah, we're not doing that. It's about eight, almost seven, eight miles. Yeah, that's eleven dollars for about sixteen miles. No, and that's with a surge too. Nope, nope. Let's go inside the lift real quick. See what lifts got going. Uh, nothing. They got me in the bonus. Nope, probably not. Now they say I am. All right, let's see what is Uber talking about. Ten seventy for sixteen miles. No. See what Uber's lips talking about. Nine dollars for nine miles. Nah, cool on that shit. I could be trying to do private rides with these. I just don't feel like it right now. Five dollars for five miles. Nope. I could be picking up each one of these people and saying, "Hey, man, fifteen bucks for this ride." <laughs> See what we got. Six dollars for about four miles. Nah, we're cool on that shit. Now, now, now. These are regular, average, everyday rides, not Christmas rides. $8 for 15 miles. $11 for some Mandarin. Nah, we're cool on that, too. $15 for 19 miles. Nope. Let's go back over here. $11 for 17 miles. Nope. Yeah, they're, they're not having anything good out here right now. $13 for 15 miles. Mm, nope. We're good on that shit. And that's going to a hospital anyways. $9 for 15 miles. Nope. That was too far of a drive. I'm not driving well. Now, on lift, they'll end up switching your ride. It's not smart to do a long-distance lift ride. Because when you get out there, oh, no surge on Uber no more. Let's go off Uber real quick. Nope, still not updating. Well, we got $23 for 31 miles. Mm. You know what? Let's accept that. I'm going to go do that as a cash ride. I'm going to go pick up Nikkei. All right. Let's go over here and pick up Nikkei real quick. I'm going to do that as a cash ride. I'll let y'all know how much I get for it or if I cancel it. That was my first charity trip of the year. I think that's my last one. Yeah, they came walking outside, you know, all Christmas gifts and everything. Had a little kid with them and shit. And I asked him, I said, hey, how much did you pay for this trip? Oh, we didn't pay that much. So I kind of knew that this was not a person that was going to do the deal. When they answered me like that, oh, we didn't pay that much. It was like, I'm, and I said, well, I only paid, I only, I'm only getting $23 with this trip, so I don't know how much you guys pay. Well, oh, we didn't pay that much for I was like, okay. So I just kind of didn't even bother the shit. But I was going to cancel on their ass, but I was like, you know, they got a kid with them, all these Christmas gifts and shit. And I think it was what, how many miles was it? It was a bonus on it. And it was what, 30 miles, $23, 30 miles, 46 minutes. The Probably the worst fucking trip of the year I'm ever going to do. But it's Christmas today. And I was like, I could really fuck these people over and say, no, nah, I'm cool on that shit. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and give them this little fucking mulligan right here. I could have just said, you know what? Either y'all tell me how much y'all paid for it or I'm going to cancel the trip. I mean, they got a little kid with them. All I'm holding Christmas gifts and shit. You, sometimes you got to like kind of recognize the energy in the fucking room and don't quite be an asshole about it. So I was like, you know what? All right, bet. What I'll do this little 23 ragged ass fucking lift trip. Fucking piss me off because this is I shouldn't even took the motherfucker. But then again, they'd ask probably be still sitting at that apartment holding on Christmas gifts for the next three fucking hours waiting on somebody to come get them. I'm like, I don't like that shit. Like I said, lift out here fucking playing people like suckers and shit like that. Like I said, I'm not doing any more of those. Anytime a, a big number trip come up, I'm not even nope. Decline right off the fucking bat. Decline. Cause I'm not doing no more fucking nature hike, look alike, wanna be fucking shit. Cause look where I am right up here, and that's where I live. Where it, all by where it says Tempe, and there ain't no motherfucking surge nowhere anywhere. Way out here in surprise, like fuck that shit. I'm gonna show you how shitty these fucking trips are up here. A whole bunch of fucking fifty cent a mile trips and shit. It ain't nothing up here right now. It's like middle of the fucking day. Man, piss me off. I should have said no. I'm telling you, I should have just said fucking no. Right off the bat. Should have declined that shit and not even accepted it. But that's what happens, though. Get up here. Look at this shit. Bullshit. All these fucking Uber Eats fucking orders and shit. 54 minutes. An hour for 924. Christmas Day. These are Christmas Day fucking things right there. That one's 30 minutes. 731. This is all Christmas Day shit right here. Look, a bunch of raggedy shit. All Uber Eats up here. 
And I'm like, yeah, I won't be doing no motherfucking Uber Eats up here. Hell no. Not for these fucking prices? Shit. And that one's two of them. That's 54 minutes right there. And that was two deliveries. So that's an hour you driving around. Each person paid like $4.50. And I'm like, yeah, nah. We cool on that shit. Not on no Christmas Day. Nah, we cool. So there ain't no, nothing else out there. On Lyft, I guarantee there's nothing but trash out here. Trash is what got me up here. Fuck. I swear to God, boy. I mean, sometimes I just need to go with my fucking gut instinct and just don't even accept shit. Like, nope. Because as soon as I was like, hey, how much y'all pay for this trip anyways? Oh, we didn't pay a lot. See, shit like that? Nope. Not doing it. Not doing it. I just did a shit trip. It's like, not doing it again. Nope. It's like, how much y'all do for this? Oh, it wasn't a lot. Like, motherfucker, that's not the question I ask you. It's like that absolutely, motherfucker. It's like I ask you a question and you go completely around the question. Oh, we didn't pay a lot. It's not what I asked, motherfucker. It's like I asked how much you pay for it. Shit. But here I am. I'm going to sit and chill right here for a while. Ah, kick back, relax. Watch these motherfuckers send me trash trips for the next 20, 30 minutes straight. All right, let me go back in Uber real quick. See what Uber's got. Nothing. Let's open up deliveries instead, because I know they ain't going to have shit for trips. Let's open up. Whoops. Damn it. Didn't try to do that. Let's open up deliveries. Turn off Uber X share. All right. No. I don't want that. 28 minutes for that? No. 26 minutes for that? Nah. Like I said, I want to I wanna see if they'll give me like something like $20 for a half hour of deliveries. 20 bucks for a half hour of deliveries. Nah. Five dollars for 28 minutes? Nah. Even though it's seven miles? Nah, we cool on that shit. Eight dollars for 33, six dollars for 26 minutes. Nope. And these miles are all jacked up too. I mean you got 13 miles. 362 for jack in the box, 22 minutes. Nope. Like I said, I mean, let me go up here real quick. 444 for 27, 8 for 3. And like I said, without without tips being on these. They're probably not going to get picked up on goddamn on Christmas. Nope. 16 for 37. That's pretty close. But it's two deliveries, though. Man, I'm cool on that shit. I mean, if it was like fucking close to like 24 for 37 minutes, I would have did it. But nah. And like I said, and once you put it on there, that's what you get. $9 for 33 minutes, 11 miles. Nah, we cool on that shit. I don't know Uber Eats is like, dude, he don't take nothing. Nope. Motherfuckers don't tip. I mean, this is Christmas Day. People are out here, we're trying to work and facilitate shit, but people don't appreciate shit. $10 for an hour on Christmas? Yee. Zero One Ice has got a lot of fucking deliveries, looks like. Yeah, right. Everybody wants to get shit from Zero One Ice. It's like, nah, nah. McDonald's for six bucks for 26 minutes? Nah. You know, let's just turn Uber Eats off, because I don't like that shit. Yeah, let's turn Uber Eats off. Cause they ain't really got nothing jumping anyways. Uber Eats is for people that want like, you know, bonuses and shit like that. Cause this is not for like straight delivery. It's like with those prices, nah, I'm cool on that shit. What we got? $5, $10. Oh, let's accept that I get a $5 bonus paid after this ride. Shit, let's go get Christina. I saw that at the bottom of the screen. That's what's up. Let's go. Oops, let's go hear him turn off Uber real quick. Get out of these motherfuckers. Let's see something. Let's get out of here. Yeah, so I this is going to be a $10 ride. Nope, still ain't updated. I'll tell you, I ain't updating my app. Fuck that shit. I haven't updated since November the 17th, and I don't plan on it at any time. So this is a $5 trip. Then I get a $5 bonus after this. I guess until 4 o'clock, they got the bonus hour rolling. So let's see if we can do this shit. This is going to be fun. Going to be fun. So I did those two bonus hour rides. So you see that one at $5 there and then another one at $5 there. And they were real quick short hops. This one was only five miles. So I did like 5.6 for $11 basically because I got $5 added to it. And then I did my other little short bonus hop was this one here to $5.51. So it came out to another five for like $10. So about $2 a mile for those little quick short hops. And before that one, wait, because that was the 551, it was that one, right? So I only did three rides, and I did the long-ass nature hike, the one I didn't like. So I got 10 bucks out of it coming up here. How much have I been making? Booked hour 17, $44, so roughly about 40 bucks an hour. You know, not, not too bad, a little less than 40 bucks an hour probably. 
but you know it's just it's just garbage up here. And they kept sit, trying to send me rides over and over, and I kept declining all that shit. So I had to hear them turning on last ride because I knew what they were gonna try to do, get me way up here and try to get me to work up here because every ride they were sending me was less than a dollar a mile. It was like seven miles for like five dollars, six miles for like four forty two. Shit, I'll, man, I turned that shit off so quick. So I'm not dealing with this shit today. I'm not. Hold up for a second. Let me see something real quick. I want to see exactly where I am. Where I am in this crazy world of places to be. Yeah, they kept trying to send me shit. Like, there ain't no surge. All the surge is over there. Like, wherever I am, there's never surge. Weird how that shit works out. I could be down by my house, and there would be, like, no surge at all. But as you can see, there's 575 down that way. It's too far for me to go drive to go get it. So it's not something I'd even go for, go for. I'm trying to look for somewhere to park and kind of kick back for a while, relax, stretch my legs and shit. And when it's still relatively early, it's pretty early in the daytime. It's only four o'clock. I'm not usually out driving at this time of day. But I had a good sleep, you know what? I had a nice little sleep for Christmas. You know, I know everybody's hanging out with their families and everything like that. I don't want to get on YouTube right now just because I don't know. It's always been that way. If, if anybody that remembers when I had Facebook and shit like that, Every time I would get online, I wouldn't get on YouTube because I just don't think, you know, being online is a is a holiday thing. Sometimes I just get off the internet and just kind of cruise and enjoy the holidays, enjoy my birthdays, enjoy whatever. I wouldn't even get on the internet because the internet is for like, you know, days that we want to kind of chop up information, have fun. And I know the internet will take you on a spiral. It'll take you up and down. You're going through a lot of emotions. We're mad at shit, happy at shit, laughing and joking. The internet can do that to you. So what I choose to do is stay in my energy of the day of whatever day it is when it's a holiday. I don't want to get on the internet, argue about wars around the world and shit, argue about this and that. Even though all that shit's going on, a holiday is a break. I'm, I'm taking a break from all that shit. That's what I do on a holiday. Take a break from it all. So this is basically my break from it all. I'm just kind of cruising, enjoying my day right now. Now, by the time this video plays, it won't be a holiday because <laughs> I don't upload shit on holidays and stuff like that. I'd rather just kind of be in my own energy right now. Oh, they got some surge just above me. What, what? They got surge down here. I'm going to have to go over here and pick up $5. Let me see something real quick. Let me go on Paw Patrol. I'm going to go on Paw Patrol and turn everything on and see where all the surge really is. Because when you're running Paw Patrol, it shows you everything in real time. So five bucks, and that's probably like a mile away. I could get to it. I could get to five bucks a mile away. That's not a big deal. Get out this lane here because this slow ass driving. What is that? A Chevy Equinox. Don't bring your ass over here, motherfucker. As soon as I started coming over here, he wants to hop his ass over here now. Like, nope. You missed that boat. That ship has sailed. Five dollars. Let's see what we can do. Um, I'm gonna turn this shit on Uber X. There we go. I would sit right here, but this is a real small parking lot. I gotta get out of this parking lot. This this shit's too small. I see a gas station across the street. I'm going to head over there. I can't sit over here. This is like a little mini mart lot. It's like a million fucking cars over here I turned into by mistake. Here we got some rides coming in right here. Uh, multiple stops. No, $20, $15? No, I don't think so. All these fucking things coming. $15, $13.55 for seven. Chinese food? No, let's not fuck with none of these. I need to get out of this. I'm trying to see like cars coming, so I'm not looking at my screen right now. I want to total my motherfucking car out trying to scout rides and shit. So, I'm going to shoot over here. Nope, don't want that either. Like I said, I'm scouting rides, so I'm not really playing with this fucking screen right now. Uber's notorious for that shit. They'll have you total out your motherfucking car trying to fucking scout rides and shit. It's like, nope. When I park, now let's work. All right, cool. I'm parked now. See what we got. A dollar fifty included. What? What happened to my motherfucker surge? Oh, them motherfuckers took my surge away. You raggedy fucking bastards. They took the fucking surge. Man, fuck them. They sat there and I got the surge and they turned around and took the shit when I wasn't paying no fucking attention. Oh, raggedy motherfuckers, boy. I swear I can't stand these apps sometimes. Oh, I got five dollar tip from somebody. Hey, hey, hey. So that's my five dollars Uber just took. You raggedy motherfuckers, that's what y'all get. Hey, there we go. $5 on this one right here. Cool. So that was really 15 So I got 5 10 15 Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 
awesome. Merry Christmas. Let's do like that shit. There we go. Put a Santa Claus on that motherfucker. Yeah. All right, three dollars for that? No, we're not doing that either. Like I said, I'm not doing shit right now. I'm about to turn these motherfucking apps off till surge starts. I don't believe Uber took that fucking five dollar surge. I just got the motherfucker. Then I'm sitting there trying to fucking scout, but I'm trying to get out of this little baby ass fucking parking lot. Sure enough, they fucking try to send me more rides. These raggedy bastards. Now I'm gonna go in here and decline as many rides as I possibly can. What's my AR at? I don't know what my AR is right now. They're not telling me. Definitely not that shit. 12 miles for seven bucks? Fuck no. Ain't no opportunities up there. Let's see what my AR is. 8%. All right. I'm sitting pretty good right now. But let me turn this thing off real quick. Yeah, so I'm sitting pretty good at 8%. But I cannot believe they took that $5 from my ass. Look at that shit. 43 minutes for $5. Ain't nobody trying no shit like that. They're crazy. $10 for that? No, nah, that's going way the fuck up north. No, nah, ain't nothing up there. Definitely ain't no surge or nothing up there. She ain't even trying that shit. Share for 18 miles, $12? Nope. Should have left my $5. $12 for 20 miles? Nope. Should have left my $5. Those old raggedy bastards. Can't stand these motherfuckers, boy. $13 for share? Nope. They throwing nothing but share out today. What the fuck is going on with that? And I would take one and go tell them, you know, how much I'm getting paid and shit. See if they want to do a deal, but I tried that shit this morning. It didn't quite work out. So, yeah, I'm not trying that shit again. I'd rather do cash rides in my area. Easier. $11 for like 23 miles? Nah, we cool on all that shit. Yep, yep. Uber gonna be like, dude, we need you to fucking throw some, some rides out for us, man. You ain't doing no rides for us. You fucking right. You motherfucker stole money from me the other night. Nothing. Look at that. No surge. It's fucking Christmas. No surge over the whole fucking city except there's some um, $11 for 23 miles. Nope. 325 way down down there by Santan. That's clear the fuck out. Was the airport surging at? 775. Coo coo. Like I said, wherever I am, there's no surge. So let's go offline. Nope, not updating. Let's see what Lyft's got in store. Let's see if these ragamuffins got some money going. Uh, nope. I don't see no surge nowhere on them either. Two dollars, three dollars. Yeah. Everywhere where I used to be, there's there's surge there. Wherever I am, there's no fucking surge. Never fails. That's why we be declining rides like crazy. They want to lure you to an area, and once you get there, they pull the surge away from you. They say, now that we got you here, we're going to send you a bunch of bullshit rides. <laughs> it's like, doubt it. Fucking turn that shit off quick as a motherfucker. About to have to do some dollar a mile rides to start working my way back south. Because I'm I'm done up here. It ain't shit up here. I need to get south. All by my house. They got nice little surge and shit down there. You know, where I am, it ain't shit up here. Nothing. So Uber and Lyft gotta send me something going south. I'm looking for anything going south right now. So I can leave this fuck. Because like I said, it's dead up here. It ain't shit up here. And that's why they got me up here. Ain't no other drivers up here or nothing. So let's see who's gonna send me a ride south. That's not a ride south. That's going north just to go south. No, doubt it. Now I'm end up in the same fucking place I'm at. It's like, no. Trying to go south. Definitely not that shit. That's going west. It's like, nope. Or that's going east. I'm not doing that. So they got to give me some shit going south right now. Um, That's going south, but it's not enough. It's like, no. Nah. 674 for that. It's a waste of my time to even take that shit. I mean, that was like 13 miles for like $6. I'm not, I'm not stupid South stupid. Like, nah, nah, nah. Let's, let's do this shit the smart way. If you don't give me something going South, give it to me going South and make it at least a dollar a mile minimum. Not no 50 cent a mile going South. Fuck that. Cause that's what they trying to do. They try to give you money going further away from where they know your base is 
just so they can work you back at 50 cent a mile because they know well you don't want to go back on your own gas so just work his ass back on 50 cent a mile nope shit don't have to work for me now, i don't know where that's going anyways ten dollars for that nope and that's going farther to the west sorry can't do it sorry eight dollars for eight miles nope i'm trying to go south people and uber they're gonna start sending me trip radar shit so they don't gotta show me what direction i'm going in but 13 miles for $10, I don't want that anyways. And that's going north, so nope, we're cool on that shit. It's taking me further away from where I'm trying to get to. And that's what they do. Keep saying, hey, just keep sending him farther away, farther away. At some point, his ass going, he's going to take 30 cent a mile to get back home. Nope. Look, they got surge all out here. But where I'm at, nothing. Surge out there, because like I said, wherever they have your car, they're not going to put no surge around you. They're going to try to make you take cheap shit where you are. So we'll go offline for a second. Nope, no updates. Let's see what this motherfucker's trying to say. $14 going south. Uh, I don't know, man. Picking up Rachel. Okay, I'll pick her from the hotel and take her south. All right, fuck it, let's go. I got to get the fuck up out of here. Cause I'm done with this spot. Like I gotta do something to, to get some money. And this shit today, Christmas day, it ain't nothing jumping right now. So this might be my ride home. Oh shit, this motherfucker just parked over here. Can't stand when people do that shit. They park next to a pump, but they park so fucking far out into the middle, you can't get around them. It's fucking crazy shit. It's like motherfucker move out the goddamn way. Got that car sitting dead center of everything. I had to reverse and come around it. Oh raggedy bastards. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Do I jump on the highway right here? Yeah, let's do it. Clock, still Christmas night. And I've been doing crazy rides on Lyft. I did a thing I did a couple on Uber. <clears throat> I'll go over to them in a second, but it's been so crazy busy. I've been getting rides back to back. Traffic's been built up. I haven't been able to record. Haven't been able to mess with my damn phone in traffic. There's more people out than what I fucking thought. Holy shit, I'm glad I came out today. But still, the rides aren't amazing. They're decent, not amazing. Trust me, for a Christmas day, I think for a holiday, these are shitty rides for a holiday. This is more like a basic fucking Friday or something. Basic Saturday. That's what it's feeling like. No holiday feel to it. I, I mean, the, the energy is holiday, but the pay is not holiday. That's the fucking difference. The pay should be Christmas. I mean, if you work the W-2 and you work today, you'll be making double time. So if you're making $26 an hour at your W-2, you're making $52 an hour because you're getting holiday pay plus your work pay. I'm not making no $52 an hour today, guarantee. I'm trying to record, but they keep sending me shit all the time. And it's like, now they're trying to get me to go down to the airport, but we got drivers already down at the airport. They probably got surge. That's probably why they don't want to get nobody from down there. They keep trying to get me to go down there. Like, Jeff, go to the air seat. They got seven drivers down there, and that's only on, like, regular Lyft. They got Uber drivers down there. Guarantee they got some marked up. Look at that. Still trying to do it. They're trying to get me to go to the airport, but these rides aren't worth it. Fucking $23, 23 miles from the airport, and I'm already damn near seven miles away. I can't do those rides. It's like, I can't do them. I made, what, almost 100 bucks. Look at that. They keep trying to get me to go to the airport. It's like, dude, I can't do that shit, man. I can't do it. The money's just not there, and I don't got no surge either. No, fuck that. And look, I did seven rides. Look how many tips I got today. One tip out of seven rides. So I can't do airport. Nobody's tipping. If people were tipping, and every, I'd be like, okay, cool, let me go to the airport. People are being a little extra, you know. Let me go pick somebody up. But without the money being involved, I can't go to the airport. I just can't do it. The last ride, that little quick ride I just did, look at that. Another one, $11 to go 10 miles. No, nah, it's way too far for me. I'm going to go up here and try to head up to this quick trip and sit down somewhere so I can scout rides. These motherfuckers, is, now I'm going to park right here, actually. There's a little parking spot right here. I hate to drive and try to scout rides. I don't like that shit. Motherfuckers fuck around, toll out a goddamn car doing that shit. Yeah, but I ain't got no surge, and they got it right next to me. They don't give it to me. Of course, they always do that shit. They put me right next to it without giving it to me. I mean, every time I do something on this app, I'll open for surge, and it'll be looking just like that. Everywhere else, but right next to me, like, dude, take the next ride. And that little quick $7 ride I just did was this. It was like not even a mile, like a half mile for seven bucks. I shot down, picked somebody up, and just took them to a, uh, their hotel or whatever. Pretty easy, pretty easy. 
Then the one before that was that $2 bonus hour one. Oh, that was with that one. It was this comfort ride right here. It was nine, but I had $2 added to it to make it 15 for nine miles. It got me to downtown. So I'm like, cool. But like I said, still one tip, seven rides. I'm not going to do a lot. I'm not going to do a lot with that. Plus, they keep putting the surge like right next to me so I can't get the surge. So I'm like, nope. Let's see. This is probably a shit ride anyways. Let's see. Yep. Back to the airport again. I'm not doing airport. Let me turn lift off real quick. Because like I said, they're not giving me any good rides right now. And they don't have me in no surge area. So there's nothing I can do about that. Just get rid of them real quick. Let's open up Uber. See if they got any surge around me somewhere. Mm, nope. They ain't got surge nowhere on Uber. Damn. It's crazy shit. They ain't got surge nowhere. Nowhere. They sent a dollar twenty-five. So somehow I'm sitting in surge. Uh no, nah, not Uber X shared. Not, not, not. Uber Pets busy. Uber X Share is busy. Let's see what kind of surge they're giving out. Another Uber X Share. Nope. All right, 10, these are all the rides that are in the queue right now. 16 miles for $9, yeesh. Another Uber X share. $5 for about four miles right there. I've got three Uber X shares in a row. I think they're doing all Uber X shares so they can generate some money for the corporation. That's what they're doing. $18 for that. I'll take that, okay. Let's take, let's go pick up Kevin. Kevin sounds like that dog on that movie, Up. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Kevin. <laughs> oh, Keith, my bad, Keith. I'm sorry, dog. I thought it said Kevin. I swear to God, that shit said Kevin in the change of Keith quick as a motherfucker. That shit said Kevin. You lying, motherfucker. That shit said Kevin. You got me over here tripping and shit. I'm like, my name's Kevin. <laughs> that shit says Keith. Motherfucker, I ain't Kevin. I'm Keith, you raggedy motherfucker. Pull over for a second. It was garbage out there. So I did my last ride over to the zoo from downtown to the zoo. I did that on Uber though. And it was just, man, they, because I'm so close to the airport, they keep sending me airport rides, but the rides aren't worth shit. So that was my ride to the zoo right there, 1871. Like I said, it, it wasn't a horrible ride. I mean, it was eight miles. I was like a mile away from them. So nine miles, about $2 a mile total. And like I said, I did that quick ride, but I'm there's no surge around me. And the airport was at seven, but they were sending just straight trash. I couldn't do shit with it. I just had to leave it alone. And so, as you can see, wherever I am, like earlier I was up here. And look, now they got surge up there where I was, like straight above Phoenix, all that area up there. So wherever you are, they won't send you surge until you're not there. Once again, I'm on lift. I'm in between two surges, one above, one below. 100% chance that shit happens every fucking time I log on. 100% chance that when I log on the lift, there's going to be a surge above me and a surge below me, but me not in a surge. 100% fucking change. How do I know that? Because it's always like that. <laughs> and they wonder why I be declining rides all the time. It's like, nope. See, like up in Glendale where I was earlier, they got surge up there now, but I'm down here now. Like I said, wherever I am, there is no surge. So I just leave my shit off. I'm like, I don't mess around. It's 96 bucks, and I've been online for, well, I've been driving for two, almost three hours, so not even $40 an hour is, is more around a 30 something dollar an hour fucking mark. And there's my, what, three hours online. That's it. So, I mean, it's not, you're not doing too well on fucking Christmas. Really not. And I'll show you, I'll go online and show you what they're sending as far as rides. I'll go on both apps and you'll see all the rides going to the airport and what they're actually uh, paying to get people. I'm down to 7% because I've been declining the shit out of people, but that right there, $4 Uber X share, but that's the problem though. I got to go all the way down and pick him up to bring him back up to Tempe. It's not worth it. There has to be drivers down there already. So I'm not driving that far to get somebody. Here's another one, 34 miles for $16. Let's go over to Lyft, $18. That's from the airport going 17 miles up north. Guaranteed they're paying about $60 for that ride. So we're not touching that. We'll let airport drivers touch that. $28 to go all the way up to Sun City from Rio Salada. It's not worth it to me. That's like a $50 fucking ride. Over on Lyft again, $9 comfort. Going to the airport to pick up somebody to take them over to Tempe for $9. Not from the airport. We're not doing it. Go back to Uber, $9 for 15 miles. It's not worth it. 
And that's right down the street. So I couldn't do that ride right there. Like I said, this is what these two apps are throwing the whole time, just throwing trash back and forth. And all the surge is in other areas. There's another UberX share. It's not worth it. And so here's some rides and let's go see what Lyft is talking about. $10 from the airport all the way up to Scottsdale for $10. That's probably a $40 ride. Not worth it. Um, Here we go. Back in Uber again. All trash in Uber. Let's go see what we got. You know, $10 for 15 miles. That, that $10 for like 15 miles. Not worth it. What's Lyft talking about? $13 from the airport going up to Scottsdale. Not worth it. Like I said, in a lot of these rides, people can go through and try to get cash rides out of them. I don't even feel like being fucking bothered with the airport, honestly. This is like, but I'm so close to it, they're going to keep trying to shoot me to the airport. $10 for an hour for to do two deliveries. There's something else right there. $8 for four. That was that $10 for an hour right there. New request, let's go up here. $5 for six miles, not worth it. $21 for 23 miles, not worth it. Lyft has probably kicked me out the system by now. Where are we at? Yep, still ain't got no surge by me. That's the zoo right there. So everybody's surging at the zoo right now because they got this event going on right there. But unless there's money there, I'm probably not going to touch it. Where I'm sitting, there's no surge. I'll probably go down to Tempe in a second. But what's that? That's $9 for 17 miles going out to the west. Nope, not worth it. What are we talking about here? Um... $13 to go up to Scottsdale from the airport. Not worth it. These people are going to be stuck at the airport. And that's the sad part. They're going to be stuck at the fucking airport all night. $10 for that's not worth it. $20 for an hour to deliver. $20 an hour. Yeah, and that's two deliveries right there. $10 for 10 miles. That's from going to the airport. $10 to leave the airport on Christmas Day. That's what they're paying drivers. $10. $14 on Christmas Day. Not worth it. Not worth it. That's it. Come on, man. Fucking. All right, now I'm in the back of the queue. I can give a fuck less. Please keep me in the back of the queue. Because ain't nobody trying to be the first one to know fucking trash. Leave me in the back of the queue. $3 to do that? Nah, I'm cool on that shit. I'm about to turn both of these motherfuckers off. I'm going to go down to Tempe for a while. Let me turn this shit off. Because they ain't really giving nothing worth taking anyways. What is this right here? Back of the queue, could care less. Say okay, go offline. Nope, still not updating. Yeah, so I'm gonna go hang out down in Tempe for a while, see if I can do some short hops, cause this shit is garbage. All right, now I just got lift running right now. Oh, they had surge all in Tempe. It was all surge here a second ago. And as soon as I fucking said I'm in Tempe, they pulled the shit away. I'm telling you, airport, look at that. $12 airport. Nope, nope. Can't do it. 12. I should accept these motherfuckers and tell these people how much they're paying drivers. I should be like, hey, the driver's only getting paid $12 for your ride, so you're probably going to be waiting a while. I should message those motherfuckers and let them know that shit so they could be like, why the fuck are we dealing with these apps when these apps ain't paying these drivers right? These apps got us fucking waiting all goddamn night. It's like they're not going to get no fucking pickups. Ain't nobody getting picked up for these prices. $12 on Christmas? Now, ain't nobody getting picked up at these fucking prices from the airport. I bet it's slammed like a motherfucker in there right now. It's probably taking drivers 15, 20 minutes to get to the person. Then you got to get out of there for $12. It's like you making fucking $30 an hour on fucking Christmas. It's like, like I said, if you work on Christmas at a W-2 and you make $26 an hour normally, you're getting paid $52 an hour at your W-2 because you're going to get your time you're getting paid plus double time for it being a holiday pay. All fucking day, you're getting $52 an hour. You work eight hours at a job at $52 an hour, you making what? $400 a day. With rideshare, what are you making? I don't make like $120 so far. I'm $400 fucking short. <laughs> it's like, come the fuck on, man. Ain't nobody trying to do that dumb shit. Look at that. Another ride to Sky Harbor going way the fuck up north. I'm not trying to do that shit. These people are going to be sitting at this airport all fucking night long, wondering why they can't get out. How come ain't nobody coming to pick us up? Motherfucker, y'all, these apps, stop using the apps. You got to figure a different way out. Look at that. Going down to the Footprint Center. Nope. That That's because there's probably going to be a game down there tonight. And so let me go turn on Uber. So there's a game down at the Footprint Center. 
people gonna be fucking having a hard time getting picked up to make it down there because ain't nobody trying to drive for no fucking cheap ass discount fucking rates on christmas day damn my my uh ar is down low as a motherfucker nope not doing that one either four dollars for that nah we cool on that shit like i said a lot of these rides are not getting picked up for the simple fact that they're just not paying enough to to do these rides on fucking christmas let me shut this shit down I'm not even in the fucking surge. I was in the surge a second ago. They didn't put me in the surge, so I just went offline. Fuck them. Down to 6% AR. I started my day off at about 12%. I'm down to 6%. So I got surge over on my house right now. Of course, because I'm not there. If I was there, it wouldn't be surge. $9 down south. Like I said, I'll go online real quick to see what kind of trash they're going to have. Probably give me a bunch of 50 cent a mile shit. Probably something at the airport, and I'm not going back to the fucking airport. Nope, nope. If there's drivers at the airport, hopefully they fucking get money. Uh, $10 for nine miles? Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Nope, nope. I said they gotta do better than that. They gotta do better. $1.50 surge coming up? For what? What kind of shit y'all got coming down the pipe now? Oh, a bunch of Uber Eats shit. Yeah, I ain't trying to do no Uber Eats. $9 for like 14 miles? Nah, we cool on that. Yeah, and they got, like I said, they got all the good surge always away from where we are. So there's no point. Like, I'm getting a dollar fifty, And they're trying to pull drivers from areas that ain't got no surge to do all these rides. And trying to get us to go towards surging areas. But they're not paying us to fucking surge. Because even up in Scottsdale, you know, there's surge everywhere except where we're going to be. Like, I'm in Tempe right now. I'm in Tempe. Guarantee when I get out of fucking Tempe, watch what the surge will be in Tempe. Watch. And I'm telling you that right now, it's fucking 7 o'clock p.m. Christmas. Watch what happens when I leave Tempe. There's no surge at 7 p.m. because I'm in Tempe. The moment you leave this fucking area, they're going to throw surge on your phone to get you back to that area. Watch what happens. Because everywhere where you're normally not, that's where they're going to have the surge at. See, look at that shit. They're going all the way down south. Nine bucks to go down south. Nope. They got surge down there. That's the thing. So they're gonna send you down to the surge area, but when you get down there, it won't surge no more. That's how the fucking game works. You get down there, the surge will be back where you are. Uh, what is that? Going all the way up to Scottsdale to pick up somebody? Man, what was that almost 30 something miles for $20? Nah, I'm cool. I'm cool on that shit. Yeah, cause that's the thing. If they played the game right, we'd probably be willing to allow the app to do shit for us. But the app is set up against drivers. It's not set up to benefit drivers. It's set up to benefit the app the corporation so you gotta once you understand that much you know not to take all this trash they're doing because like i said they're surged down here and not surged where i am nope not doing it now look that was way out to the west look there's surge out to the west look at that all down here there's surge to the west so what they're trying to do is send rides to wherever it's surging right now but once you get out there it won't surge no more so why don't you just pay us more to get so we can get motherfuckers out there but they don't want to pay you no more for that nope is that mill and forth over the rule? Nah, I'm not taking none of these little shit trips. I'm cruising right now. 794 for about 11 miles. Yeah, we're cool on that shit too. And Lyft, Lyft had surge right where I am right now before I got here. So they had surge. Uh, damn, three miles away to go pick up. Nah, I'm cool on that shit. Because that's, that's going to be a change ride. I already know how that shit works. Once you get down there to pick them up, they're going to swap that shit. They're going to say, hey, he added a ride to, nope, not doing shit like that. He added a stop, nope. Because for something that short, yeah, they want to do a round trip. I ain't stupid. I already know how that shit works. Somebody tried to get me earlier when I wasn't recording with that shit. It was a trip to go pick up this girl for a short trip. It even says short trip on a request. I've never seen that before. It says short trip. I was like, oh, cool, it's short trip. As soon as I accepted it, the trip went from $6 for like maybe a mile to $12.84. It just says modified trip. That's all it said. It didn't give me a distance, a time, nothing. It just says modified trip. For $12.84 for it to add $6, I guarantee they added probably another 15 fucking miles on that shit. So I hurry up. I just canceled it. I said, nah, I'm cool. I'm not going to do that shit. Hey, I got a 666 tip. Fucking the devil's number. God damn it. I picked up, you know, Pastor Rachel earlier and now I got a devil's tip. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Those were on the KU people. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Yep. Send thanks for the tip. Thank you for the six dollars and sixty-six cents. Fucking devil's digits. Looking ass motherfucker. Uh 
Come on, car, go. Exactly, you're sitting here all fucking day, you gotta go. Rag a muffin, motherfucker. I was turning the corner so I couldn't look at my fucking phone. I don't know what the fuck they were sending me. I have no idea. Because I was looking out my fucking windshield, not at this fucking phone. Fuck this phone. When I'm in traffic driving, I don't even look at this fucking phone. It be just beeping and going off and shit like that. I have no idea what the fuck be going on. But I'm about to go to this Circle K road. Oh, this quick trip right here. I'm turning again so I don't know what the fuck's on my phone. I have no idea because I'm turning. All right, now I'm in the parking lot. 1768 for like 30 something miles. Now I'm cool on that shit. Like I said, when I'm turning my car, I do not look at this fucking phone because I'm not about to sit here and total my fucking car with these goddamn apps. Alright. All right, what do we got? Trip radar. Uber Eats bullshit. 855. No. Nah, there's some right there. I'm gonna turn this motherfucker off anyways. I'm gonna go in here and grab me some crusty dusties. Fuck this shit. I'm at Quick Trip. I'm gonna grab me some crusty dusties. Fuck these apps. They're not sending nothing right now anyway. Crusty Dusty. So I ran out real quick. Turned the app on. And sure enough, they got Surge and Tempe. All I had to do was just leave the app off for a second. I left the app off. And these motherfuckers put the Surge right back. Remember, they didn't have no Surge here earlier. They took that shit away from me. Because I had arrived down there. As soon as I go in there and get some Crusty Dusties. Run back out the door. And guess what? Surge everywhere. Like, got you motherfuckers. So now let's see if they send me a ride. They look, oh, they pulling the surge away. They put me in some purple almost. Let's see what they do. If they're going to give me some short trips or what. Let's see how they're going to handle this shit. What, $10 a what? Nah, I don't want that. Because I already know already that's going to be $12 for like fucking 15 fucking miles of driving. I'm cool on that shit. $13 for about 14 miles almost. 12, 13 miles. Nope. Cool on that shit. We ain't doing that. Now let's see if they leave me in some surge. 275. Lost a quarter. All right, I lost the fucking 25 cent ragamuffins. Yeah, I gotta go find a, a circle K because that quick trip had no crusty dusties. Motherfucker had the top rack and it was all powder donuts and shit. That was it. I'm like, I ain't eating no motherfucking powder donuts. What kind of shit is that? Yeah, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna go north a little bit. I'm not going down Broadway. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit there and eat no motherfucking confectioner sugar fucking donuts. Those weren't even real donuts. That was powder donuts. That's like fake sugar and shit all over them. So I was like, nope. I just I walked in, saw the fucking donut rack was empty, and walked out. <laughs> it was like, wait a minute. So that dude came in here specifically, yep, specifically for these motherfucking crusty dusty ass donuts, and you motherfuckers got a top rack only. With nothing but some trash up there. Trash donuts. So you see, like Lyft ain't sending me shit. You know how Lyft sends you shit like crazy as long as you got Uber turned on? Watch what happened when I turn Uber on. Watch this. The moment I turn Uber on, Lyft gonna be sending me fucking rides back to back to back. Because I'm telling you, these motherfuckers on the same server. Alright. Now I'm gonna go back over to Lyft. Watch they gonna start sending me rides now. That's number Uber Eats. I don't give a fuck about that. I'm not opening that shit. That's all Uber Eats in there. What we got? $10. No, I'm cool. I'm not going way out there. Not for no 10 bucks. $12 for that. Nope. Yeah, all of these trips are straight trash. $12 for like almost 17 miles of driving. Yep, that one right there. And that thing that's going to the real Salada. Yeah, I'm not doing that. $12 for like 17 miles of driving. Nope, nope. What else we got? 15 for 21. Nope. Doubt it. All Christmas rides. All Christmas rides. 10 for like 16. Nope. Like I said, people need to understand, man. These apps are not playing by the fucking rules of the terms of service. They're not paying out right, and that's why people are sitting around waiting on rides. They're going to try to put this shit on drivers' backs. Oh, it's because of the drivers. This is why. It's because of the drivers. No, it ain't. Uber X share. Nobody trying to drive no 16 fucking miles for $11 always south. Here we go with the crusties. 13 for 9 Nope. Don't think so. Get rid of them real quick. Yep, now we're still in the surge with lift. I'm still in the surge zone, so let's see something. Ah. 
nope not doing that one either that's way too far south i tried to get that four dollar ride they wouldn't give it to me though here real quick 822 for about three miles ah uh, let's accept that one but the thing is i turned into a parking lot already so i'm gonna have to go all the fucking way back around and pick them up you know what i'm just gonna cancel this one i don't want that one i'm gonna cancel it any fucking ways let's cancel it because i turned into the parking lot already so yeah we're gonna do something different once I got into the parking lot, I just didn't want to go back out. Because I'm like, fuck it. Now I got $4. Let's see what I'm going to do with that shit. Let's go inside of Uber and turn these motherfuckers off. Because they ain't doing shit anyways. They keep trying to send me to the airport. Just turn them off. Don't even be bothered with them today. Nope, no update for you. All right. I'm going to swing around here real quick and kind of hang out right here. Kick back for a second and relax. Let all these cars fucking pass me and see what kind of money I can get. Well, they're not going to send me nothing unless I have Uber turned on. That's the fucking downside. Like, I don't like to have Uber turned on because I hate... You know what? Let's do like this. I'm going to fix fucking Uber shit. I'm going to fix these raggedy motherfuckers. Let's fix them. All right. Let's go. Paw Patrol. Damn, it says it's busy, though. I don't know. All right. We're going to Paw Patrol us just because I want to get some lift requests. So I got to turn Uber on just so I can get lift requests. But they're going to say, oh, yeah, Uber pet's busy. I ain't picking up no fucking pets today. Nope. Doubt it. I'm only doing this shit to get lift requests because lift won't send you rides unless they see you are working with Uber. Where we at? All right. I got a four dollar bonus. Oh, I'm about to Harriet Tubman the shit out of this motherfucker because I'm keeping this four dollars. They ain't got nothing around. So so. Be be ready for Harriet Tubman. And for you motherfuckers that know what it is, anybody who's listened to my live streams, podcasts, seen other fucking videos, new people probably don't know what it is. It's cool. We educate them on that shit. We say we don't put things out in the open on my channel, especially when it's us getting this fucking money, you know, through little things we do. So we call it Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad, ways to help drivers out to get money without posting that shit. A few people have tried to post it on my channel, what we're doing. I remove the comment. If they do it twice, if they post the shit twice, I just block them from my channel. This is not a snitch channel. We help drivers. So if you're going to type all of the shit that we're doing on my channel, it lets the engineers at the app see what we're doing to keep this money. You're telling the fucking enemy the goddamn plan. Don't do that. Not on my channel. Don't tell the enemy what we're doing to keep this fucking money. Even if they know what we doing, don't let them know that we know. But for these motherfuckers that like to get on comments and try to act like, hey, I'm, I'm motherfucking Peppermint Patty. I'm going to tell everybody everything, what we're doing. Hey, everybody, this is how you do it. Get, get off my fucking channel. We don't do that over here. We call it Underground Railroad, Harriet Tubman. If you want to know, email a motherfucker. Talk to people. And that's how you find out offline. Don't do it on people's YouTube channels. Talk to them in the street, at the gas station. Talk to them through email. Text message a motherfucker. But don't be putting that shit on people's channel out in the open. That's not cool. Because as soon as the app engineers know, they go, oh shit, this is how they're getting that money. This is how they're doing it. They close that fucking loop because the loud mouth motherfuckers all over YouTube, they start closing our fucking ways to get money. And you could just thank yourself for that shit. We sitting there trying to preserve money. And you, oh, look, this is how you do it. What you do to, to save your surge. What you do to save a street. This is what you can do. Get off my motherfucking channel. Just get off my channel with that shit. So I'm still sitting here. They ain't sending me nothing. So apparently I can't have it on Paw Patrol. I got to go to the regular rides. Yep, let's put it on regular rides. Now, see, I told you, as soon as you go to regular rides or something like that, this is what happens. And I got my money. You see, we Harriet Tubman and everything around here. But that's the thing why I don't like having it on Uber because Uber sends a whole bunch of shit trips. And I don't have no surge. And Uber's got 475 down the street. I could drive down and pick that up and Harriet Tubman that shit. But it's like, I'm cool where I am right now. Was it Uber can open up that fucking surge? Nope. Not doing that, definitely. Like I said, I hate having Uber running, but I got to get fucking money off of Lyft by having Uber run. It's almost like Lyft don't want you to drive for nobody else. So they go, oh shit, hurry up, get him, get him before he starts driving for Uber. Like, yeah. Let's see where we at. Cool, cool. Still got my, my 
Surge, I had the Harriet Tubman that shit. These motherfuckers right here. Like I said, that's 475 right down the street. Where, what street is that? Broadway just south of me. Yeah, I just left over there. Like I said, I'm just right here. I could go down there, pick up that 475, sit on that for a while. So I have that 475 plus the other four. So I have 875 I'll be sitting on. But I want to see what they're talking about. Mm, nah, Harriet Tubman, Harriet Tubman. Yeah, we got a Harriet Tubman some of this shit because we don't want that. Like I said, I got a $4 fucking bonus I'm sitting on. This is probably Uber Eats. Nope. $4 for that? Nope. It's tempting to go down the street to get that. Very tempting. See, short trip. See, that's, they say that shit now. Short trip on the screen. That's not a short trip. That's a fucking long trip. Tell you what, I'm going to go down here and get this fucking money real quick. Let's do like this. I'm going to Paw Patrol this shit just so they stop fucking with me. So I'm going to see if I can go down there and get this fucking money. Nope, don't want none of that. Because I got it on Paw Patrol. Let's go see if we can grab this 475. Like I said, I was just down there anyways. I should have just grabbed. I should have just went that direction instead of back towards ASU. But I thought they'd do something. The zoo is going to be popping later on. So by, by the time motherfuckers see this video, they ain't going to know that. It, it'll already be fucking gone and passed but the zoo is gonna be popping because i was dropping all those people off the ku band the k uh kansas university band is up there playing right now and ku has the game tomorrow against unlv which is funny because i graduated from unlv with my account degree but i got a championship at ku so my name is forever at ku <laughs> i got a championship from like 93 94 at ku the 100 meter dash championship i wanted the ku relays back then so my name is forever cemented at ku and they're playing against the school i graduated from tomorrow <laughs> so i'm kind of like eh, what do you do which who do you go for do you go for the school you got a legacy with from the 90s you go from the school that gave you a accounting degree yeah fuck it fuck both of them i'm just kidding i'm just kidding good luck to both of them hopefully they do well and i like i said i enjoyed my college career it got me linked into a whole bunch of different colleges doing the shit that we did with track with you know just life in general meeting a lot of people having fun so i enjoyed my college experience it was pretty cool pretty cool and just to know that my name is still at all these colleges that i won championships from iowa state you know nebraska fucking you know ku mizzou all these schools, you know, Illinois State, Iowa State, Indiana State, Drake. All these schools got my name forever cemented at them. And it's like, it's pretty cool. And the people were like, what's your name? I said, Jeff Watts. I just look up Watts. Like 93, 94 is when my championship was. I tried to show them the championship in my phone. I just couldn't find it. See what we got. What do we got? How close can we get to get this money? And Lyft still ain't sent me shit right now because I'm not on Uber. Once I go back to UberX, they'll send me some. And that's just how it works. As long as I, and they're trying to get me out of the surge, that's what Lyft is trying to do. But as soon as I grab this surge down here on Paw Patrol, so I got the 250, I can go down here and grab this on Paw Patrol. Then I'll go back on uh, UberX and I'll start doing Harriet Tubman between both of them if I don't get a good ride. I'll just Harriet Tubman both apps at the same time. Oh, here we go right here. What do we got? $11 for that. Uh, $11 for like six miles, eight miles. 250 was the most I can get. I had to hurry it up and that other shit right there. I'm going to keep going down. There's a circle K down here. So I'm going to go down here and get me some fucking crusty dusties. Because I've been just cruising for now. Cruise down here. Give me some crusty dusties. I got 250 over here because they took it away. And I got four over here. So I got 650 in surge. I'm saving right now. And like I said, this is what we do. We teach people on this channel how to fucking keep money. If you get this money, it's your money. Don't worry about these motherfuckers. It's your money. We teach you how to keep it. And we're one of the only channels to do that shit. A lot of channels are going to tell you, you know, the ins and outs of the app. Fuck the ins and outs of the app. We got the ins and outs of the money. That's what we about over here. We ain't about this app. Fuck these apps. If you got to do a private ride or you got to figure something out, do that. But whatever it takes to feed your family. Because these motherfuckers right now feeding their families on our backs. So we got to turn around and say, hey, you know what? I'm going to feed my own family on my back. With the work I'm doing, I'm going to benefit from it. My family's going to benefit from it. And that's how we have to do it. If they don't like it, cool. They ain't got to like it. But one thing they won't do is sit there and play us out. We got we to gotta be out here doing this work for ourselves. We've got to make this money for ourselves. Just like they want to make money, we want to make money. Okay, I'm still down here in my $4 or whatever. 
sitting at the Walmart parking lot. Ain't got no rides. So as soon as I turn on Uber, watch how many rides start coming through the pipe. I lost that shit on Uber because Uber was moving around too fast. So I just gave it up. It was only 250. I was like, fuck that. I'm giving it up. So as soon as I go on here, now watch my, my lift shit starts hitting again. Because that's what happened. I went on here, lift started hitting too hard or Uber started hitting too hard. So I was like, damn it. I was going back and forth between screens, ended up losing the surge. Look at that. $7 Uber X priority. $782 for that. No, we're not going to do that. There's one. $30 for 46 minutes right there. Sushi, but you're going, damn, 46 minutes, 25 miles. Pop a go drive. Oh, hell no. That's tip baiting the shit right there. Fuck that. You ain't fucking sucker me with that. $30 for a delivery? Yeah, right. Motherfucker, get tip baited. You fuck around, get like $11 on that shit. Be mad as hell. $11.18, nope. I'm waiting to see what fucking, um, what Lyft does. Because right now, Uber ain't really sending shit worth nothing right now. $8 for that, nope. Cool on that shit. Like I said, 25 miles for 30 bucks on a delivery. You're driving way the fuck out somewhere. 25 miles is long because that right there is 16 miles. 25, where the hell are you going for 25 miles? It's like, shit. There's one 18 for 13 miles, 15 for 18 miles. All these are about an hour deliveries and shit. It's like, nope, nope, cool on that shit. See what Lyft's doing over here. Still same old shit. Yep, so they've got Surge. They got $10 over in, in Mesa, 10 bucks. That's what's up. Let me see if you're going to Mesa. Nope, you're going south, not doing it. If you was going to Mesa, I probably would have took it. Let's see if you got any Mesa runs in here. Nope. All these are garbage. Garbage. And that's with 250 included. So that's basically a $3 trip right there. $3 to go like almost five miles. Nope. And that was a priority a second ago. <laughs> I think that same one was a priority and they dropped it back down to regular. Like ain't nobody taking that shit. Nope. Not that one either. They keep trying to do the same trips over and over. $7 for that. Nope. Like, they keep trying to have these same trips popping up. They'll call them priority. Then they'll do something else. And they're probably leaving, like, parties. Because over this area, there's a lot of, like, frat houses, fraternity houses, and shit like that. They throw parties over here a lot. Guaranteed, for five bucks, it's probably about four fucking people. No tip whatsoever. So it's like, yeah, I'm not doing that shit. $10 for 17 miles? Nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Another Uber Eats? All Uber, $16 for, like, was that, 12 miles, 13 miles? Yeah, we're not going downtown Phoenix right now. Nope. Because I'm all the way back here, you know, south of Tempe. So I'm not going to U-turn and go all the way back up where I just came from. Like, nah. They got to do a little bit better than that. UberX shared. Nope. Not doing no shared. Look at that. Multiple stops. That's like eight miles. Multiple stops. Man, they out there damn for 471. Ain't nobody trying no shit like that. Man, look at all them Uber Eats just sitting there. Motherfuckers gonna be hungry this holidays. Where we at? Still got the ten dollars over there. Yeah, let's see what they talking about over here. Nope, we're not going north with no UberX share. Hey, well, let's just turn Uber off. Uber's not really sending shit right now. Nope, still not updating. But Lyft's got you know some good stuff jumping. They got you know Surge over there in Mesa. I still got to give me something to eat. I'm starving. They got surge all down south and everything like that. And it's basically blank where I am. So, I don't know. I'm going to have to probably go somewhere else because it ain't shit over here. Let me go grab me something to eat real quick. I'm going to go give me something to eat and fucking kick back somewhere and see if they'll give me some, some rides that'll take me south. Because what they're doing right now ain't worth shit. been sitting here chilling. I couldn't get a crusty Dusty, so I ended up getting two hot dogs from Quick Trip. Not bad, not bad. But these fucking trips are bad. <laughs> All these trips are fucking horrible. 25 bucks for an hour for that? Nah, doubt it. That's going all the way to Gilbert too. No, I'm cool on that shit. $10 for like 21 miles? Nope, 50 cent a mile riding? Nope. Look at all this surge. See, look at where I am. All the surge is all down here. All in this area down there. Look at that, Sun City. 
thirty dollars to go fifty one miles. That's like an hour of driving fifty one miles. All this shit. I wouldn't mind taking one of these trips down to Gilbert or something like that. Fifteen dollars to go to Maricopa. That's thirty one miles. That's fifty cents a fucking mile to go to Maricopa. Fifteen dollars, sixteen to go to Maricopa. Shit, Maricopa's way too far. Hell no. Thirty to go up to Sun City. Thirty bucks to go 60 miles. They're doing these 50 cents a mile rates on motherfucking Christmas Day. Look at that. 24 miles for $11. 50 cent a mile fucking rates on Christmas Day. Can't nobody afford this shit. That's where all the surge is down there. And look at that. $5 for like eight miles. Nope. Cool on that. And over here, I still got the same shit going on on uh, Lyft. I got my 425 bonus still locked in. They ain't been able to steal it from me. So I've been holding on to that for a while. 420 for shit like this. Like, no, it's not even fucking worth it. Not even fucking worth it. But what I'm trying to do is, is get anything that's going to take me down to Gilbert Chandler that's worth something. Because like I said, I got 675 right down the corner. That's about probably three, four miles away. And that's not bad. But for $3 to go for six miles, that's 50 cents a mile rate. I'd rather drive on my own gas before I did shit like that. I'm not that desperate to put a motherfucker in my car at 50 cents a mile. I'm just not that desperate. UberX shared. Definitely not that. 11 miles for that? Nah, we cool. I said, they got some good surge everywhere around here. But you got to drop south and cut across 13 miles for $6? Nope. Don't think so. I said, all this shit over here is just, it's all trash. All trash rides. And look at where the surge is. I'm going to show you. Oberex share taking you 30, 32 miles north for $14. Nope. So this is where all the surge is over there. I'm going to turn this shit off real quick because they're not sending them. I'm down to 5% AR. Lowest I've ever been right now, 5%. But that's where all the surge was over there. It was all in Gilbert Chandler, everywhere where lift surge is not. So if you just look, I'm going to open it back up. But I'm not going to turn it back on. I'm just going to open it back up. So if you look at where all their surge is, this is where all their surge is, all in these areas over here. But the thing is, once you get over there, it's going to dry up. All that surge is going to move to over here. Once you end up down here, it's going to move. Oh, I'm 4% AR. Excuse me. Once you end up down here, all the surge is going to move to over here because there's nothing over here right now. So that means they're bouncing people back and forth. As soon as I end, I'm going to drive down a little bit just to see if I can get some of this right here because that's on uh, Arizona Ave. That's not too far from me right now. That's like Country Club. So Country Club is, I'm right here. Country Club is right there. Baseline is right there. That's where the Walmart is right about there. Baseline and Country Club. That's where your Walmart is right there. So if I can get by the Walmart, I can drop down and get the 675. But I guarantee once I get in this area, none of this shit's going to be there. All that'll be gone. All of this right here will be unmoved all the way to this side of town over here. I'm going to show you how. Like I said, it's Christmas Day, motherfucker. Like, if we're going to go out and get some, let's go out and get some. Let's have some fun doing this shit. But hopefully I make some money in the process of them fucking with me. But, you know, I still got my uh, lift shit on right now. But all this surge you're seeing over here is going to disappear and it's all going to end up west. Because right now, there ain't nothing out west. That little shit out west, the moment we get east, all that shit's going to jump. Watch. Well, I'm going to turn this off because I'm going to listen to me some music for a while. They're waiting to get a good order, a good, a good ride, but a $27 for 27-minute Uber Eats came through to a Chinese restaurant. So I'm going to go run and pick this up real quick. I think it's only something like... 10 miles maybe i don't even remember what the miles was but it was 27 dollars, 27 minutes let's do it i'll take a risk on that shit because they sending me a bunch of bullshit rides anyway so i'm like well let's do uber eats let's see if they if they tip bait me i'm gonna be mad as a motherfucker because 27 dollars 27 minutes is pretty fucking good for uber eats delivery so it's almost like 60 dollars for 60 minutes i would do some shit like that because normally they've been sending out a whole bunch of bullshit orders so let me do this because this is 54 dollars an hour order right now $54 an hour $27 27 minutes let's see if this shit really works that was kind of excessive wait time right there that was fucking crazy so I'm gonna do this ride instead because <laughs> that was excessive wait time that whole man that fucking restaurant was packed everybody in there was doing pickup everybody was and it was a long ass fucking line I was like yeah I'm not going now no. and I walked in I said hey man is this whole thing for pickup he's like yep I was like, damn, it was at least 15 people, delivery drivers standing in there, easily 15 delivery drivers standing in there, and the whole restaurant was packed with people eating, and I was like, he said, well, you can go up there and check, but I don't see any food ready, so most likely you have to wait, I said, you know what, I think I'm just going to cancel this shit, 
So as soon as I canceled it, I was walking out. That ride popped up real quick. <laughs> so I was like, fuck it, let's go pick up Edward instead. That $27, it looked good. It looked good. But I was like, when I walked in that place, I was like, fuck this shit. Nope. So that motherfucker, that, that fool gonna have to wait. Nah, I'm cool on that. It's enough people in there to take them that food. Whoever the fuck ordered that shit, use the driver that's already in there. But to keep packing that fucking place with drivers is stupid. I walked in that motherfucker. It was girls, guys, young, old, tall, short, motherfucking... I'm black. It was motherfucker Arabian, some Chinese people, some white people. It was every, It was like motherfucking United Nations up in that motherfucker trying to do delivery. I was like, God damn. What is this? The UN? Fucking Uber Eats UN? <laughs> fucking Uber Eats United Nation delivery service looking ass motherfuckers. I was like, everybody up in this bitch. I had to get the fuck up out of there. Cancel that shit. I had to go. <laughs> man that dude eddie was cool as hell that was a short ride man and we actually talked right in front of the hotel just chatting he was a uh, navy seal retired navy seal 57 years old dude's bigger than me swole like a motherfucker white dude he was like we sitting there chatting and talking about life and everything else he's like man he says i gotta ask you what do you really do for a living he said because you just can't drive that's i said no i just drive that's all i do I said, well, I podcast too. He was like, I should have fucking known. He said, just talk to you. You sound just like my best friend, man. He says, I swear you guys are like the voice of reason. Is it just the way your voice sounds, the way you talk and everything else? He says, man, you sound like a podcaster. Like he said, I can listen to you all day. <laughs> and we were chatting and laughing, but check this shit out. So he says, you know what I do? He says, I'm a retired uh, Navy SEAL, you know, he said, but I also run a handler company. He says, you know what a handler is? I was like, no, this is what we do is rich people call us when they need somebody to go out with them. Just kind of like to keep, you know, the scene down, you know, make sure nobody does anything to them. It's almost like a bodyguard, but we're more like handlers. We just kind of blend into the crowd. He says, I want to hire you. I was like, what is this? Yeah, he says, I want you to work with me, man. He says, you said, you got a number? I said, well, I got a card. So I gave him my business card. He was like, he says, dude, you be a perfect hand. He says, you're so smart. You're well spoken. It's just the way you speak and everything is you can walk in a room and talk to anybody. And that's what a handler does. You got to blend in. I was like, all right, bet. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. So he said, yeah, he says, it's sort of like a bodyguard, but not quite a bodyguard. But, he says, but you're big enough. He says, man, you're stacked. You're big enough to do this, man. I was like, that's what's up, man. Let's do it. <laughs> so shit. No telling. The motherfucker call me next year. Y'all might be like, Jeff, where's Jeff at? He says, yeah, we be up in Scottsdale. He says, we call it Snotsdale. I fell out laughing. He was like, yeah, man, we go up there and we just kind of hang out with the wealthy. You know, you kind of, they might have like a few people going out and you got to kind of blend in, make sure nobody messes with them. You know, I was like, all right, bet, you know, this and that, that's cool. So definitely, you know, it's, it's an avenue I could see myself going down, just hanging out with people, chatting and shit, coming up with some great stories for a podcast. Like, oh man, I got drop kicked by a Chinese dude. Motherfucker be laughing like a motherfucker. Like, Jeff got drop kicked by a Chinese dude. Motherfucker, I was trying to handle his motherfucking ass. He was getting out of hand. Motherfucker drop kicked me into a fucking bar. <laughs> what do we got? Hold up. What do we got over here? Eight dollars for that? Yeah, we're not doing that ride. I would love to, but I'm in the middle of an Uber ride right now. See, they fucked up. Lipton had all night to send me rides. They wait until I get on Uber rides to start trying to send me shit. Because I'm telling you, they see when I was just driving with nothing on, no apps on, no nothing, just lift. That was it. They wasn't sending me shit. They sitting there trying to get me to take rides once they see that I'm working already. So they go, oh, he's working? Yeah, send him a ride. Nope, not taking it. And then motherfuckers like, how the fuck is he still keeping his surge the whole time? Harriet Tubman, motherfuckers, you playing with the wrong driver. Y'all think y'all gonna fuck me out of my money, but you're not. I know how the game works. We're not doing that. But I wanted to show y'all what I was talking about. You see, I'm over here right now. Remember where all that surge was? And when I said it's gonna all move out to the west, look out to the west. <laughs> what did I tell you? It was gonna do that shit. Once you get east and you sit east and everything, they got you over here. They put the surge somewhere else. They moved the surge all the way to the other side of town where you were. And I remember earlier, there wasn't shit out there. There was nothing out to the west. Now all this surge is out to the west. Look at this shit. 450, 425, 575. All this shit's out west now. Even further out. And look at where I am now. Now I'm out east where the surge used to be. Where am I at? Here I am, right here. I'm out. And look at that shit. Remember all that surge was all out here? You don't see shit out here now. But that's how these apps work. They're fucking with people. They mentally fuck with you. 
like I've been doing short hops and short rides, which has been coming out pretty good. Cause you can see like, that was my last trip right there. It was $8 for that, but I got for that little short quick mile with Eddie, two miles, he gave me a $5 tip, came out to 12.48 for like a couple of miles. It was pretty cool. And I was only like, what, maybe a mile from him. So like three miles, so that's like four bucks a mile. Before that, I got like a 6.66 tip. Y'all saw that one. That was my last one right there, 8.87. But I'm, I just wanted to show y'all, I'm on this side of town over here where all that surge was. And I said, when I get to the east, watch they put all the surge to the west. I called that shit. Now look when you look west. That's where all the surge is now. Like I said, that's how these apps work. Once you use these apps for a while, you start knowing how they fuck with people. They don't want you to get money. They want you to think that they're putting money out. Like, oh shit, there's money out there. I gotta drive, I gotta drive, there's money out there. Look at this shit, 14 miles. 14 miles was like 655. No, I doubt it. And like I said, this is where all the surge was. Damn, this McDonald's was packed like a motherfucker. Holy shit. This fucking McDonald's. I just gonna turn it here so I can park somewhere and chill for a while. I can't park over here. There's too many fucking cars. Let me go to this gas station over here. Yeah, I was gonna park over here and kind of chill, but I like I turned it to that lot. It ain't nothing but cars in that motherfucking drive through. Yeah, Uber eats my ass, motherfucker. Fuck that shit. That's crazy. I'm gonna park over here and chill. Yeah, but I just wanted to show exactly what I was gonna tell y'all what would happen. They had all that crazy surge out to the out where I am right now, out to the east. Surge everywhere. It was fucking crazy surge. Surge all. Now they got it like kind of far down south, like way down here. Then over there, it was surge. All this was all red. All that shit was fire engine red. And I said, as soon as I get over there, watch they move it all to the west. And there you go. There it all is over here now. And it wasn't shit over there. That's how they fuck with you. They make you think there's money out there. If you get there, you got to stay out there and we'll put money as long as you out there. They ain't putting shit out here. They got motherfuckers bouncing all over the place trying to get money. I ain't drove nowhere. I made what? 46 bucks in three trips today. Fucking with them. That's it. 46 bucks in three quick trips. 11 of that shit was like tip, which is cool. But I'm like, man, fuck these people. What do we got? $10 for that? Yeah, let's take that. Because I'm going back that way anyways. I'm going to go down here and pick up Adam. I got to work my ass back down towards my side of town. And this kind of gets me going in that direction. Let me go back over to Uber. That was that same Ford fucking 25. I've been saving that. I've been Harriet Tubman that shit all fucking day. I know they probably sitting there thinking, how does this motherfucker still got that money? Harriet Tubman, we show you motherfuckers how to do that on this channel. We show you how to do it. And well, we don't show you. We tell you. We email you back and forth and tell you. And then you do it. And you say, hey, Harriet Tubman worked. I appreciate that shit, brother. I'm making an extra fucking 15, $20 a day on Harriet Tubman. Extra 15, 20, $20, $20 a day. Let's say $30 a day. If you can Harriet Tubman, $30 a day, five days. That's the extra $150 a week you get. An extra $150 a week is an extra $600 a month. $150 a week is an extra $600 a month just because you know how to Harriet Tubman this shit. Who can't use an extra $600 a month? I can use an extra $600 a month, so I show people how to do that. Well, like I said, I don't show you. I show you it works. That's one thing. I show you it works, but when you want to know how, to, what are you doing? How does it work, Jeff? That's when motherfuckers email me. I can help you make an extra $600 a month, potentially an extra $600 a month. More than that, maybe a little less than that. Who knows? But I'm going to do what I can do to make sure you get this money and you keep that shit in your pocket. And I appreciate everybody who super chatted me. You know, saying, Jeff, thanks for the Harriet Tubman. Super chatted me. Thanks for the people that cash at me. Hey, Jeff, here you go. A little bit to the side. Here you go, bro. Because you helped me trap another another hundred a week. I trapped this week. Another hundred. I'm going to slide you this real quick. Motherfucker slide me $15 in, in cash app. I appreciate that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I do this shit for y'all. I share this information so everybody can eat. Not so I can sit and brag about how much money I got over everybody. No, fuck that. I share that information because everybody's got to eat. And I hope it works for you. I hope you can trap surge. I hope you get that shit. $10 surge, $15 surge, $20 surge. You trap that shit and you don't let them take your fucking money. And once you do that, that makes me happy as a driver to know another driver ain't being getting got out there. That's why we do the shit we do. For a second so that's where i'm sitting right now and downtown they got the event they got the game letting out so there's a game about to let out right here so i'm gonna head down there real quick uh there's the dallas Mavericks versus the sun so 10 20 to 11 50 is supposed to be busy it's at 8 50 right now as far as surge goes so i'm gonna head down there real quick 
Shit, I got about a half tank of gas left, so I'm, I'm sitting pretty good right now. So I've made 40, 146 on uh, Uber. I mean, 146 on Lyft, and I think I've made 46 on Uber so far. So let me open this up real quick. Yeah, so I made $192 so far driving, 192 and I think I hit the road earlier. It was about probably two or three o'clock when I hit the road. It's like 11 now. So normally on a, on a normal fucking day, I'd be well over 250, almost 270 by now. And I'm at 192, so I'm about $80 short on a normal fucking day. And this is a holiday and I'm like that. 192 on a holiday. I should already be at like three, four fucking hundred by now. Cause I know they charging the shit. I, I haven't done a single airport ride. They've been sending me nothing but airport. I'm staying the fuck away from that airport. They got enough drivers sitting up there and I don't know why they trying to pull people from away from the airport in there. I'm not doing that shit. I got a small car. So I don't want to pull up through there, fight 20 minutes through traffic, get in front of somebody. It's four people with four big ass suitcases and I'm sitting there in a the little ass BMW like, what the fuck did I fight through all this traffic for? I'll be mad as shit right about now. I mean, to sit there and fight for 20 minutes through airport traffic, get in front of somebody and you're sitting there like, I can't take y'all, I gotta cancel. So you just wasted all that time and then you can't get another ride at the airport. You gotta go all the way back to the queue. So you gotta fucking fight your way out of there. So it's like you can be there 20, 35 minutes for no reason at all with a small car like this. Airport, you need a van. You need something bigger to, to be able to do this shit. My trunk is way too small for airport. And that's why I have no problem declining all that airport shit. If I pulled up to somebody's house and they had a lot of suitcases and I could cancel, that's one thing, because I could still get rides right where I sit. But at the airport, I'm stuck. You gotta go all the way back, fight through all that shit, and get, I can't just sit there and go, hey, y'all, I can't take this person. Anybody got one or two suitcases want to ride? I can't say that shit. So it's like, man, I don't fuck with that airport. No, nah, people are traveling, they got a lot of stuff, they're trying to be here for the whole holiday, or they coming back with you know tons of gifts and shit, and they're loading your car up. I'm like cool on that shit no i'm not fighting through all that i'm not fighting through that hey it's 11 11 right now that's what's up that's what's up 11 11 that's the tattoo on my arm so i'm gonna go take my ass downtown real quick why the fuck these raggedy motherfuckers riding the curb lane two cars in a row that ragged ass suv and now this raggedy motherfucker right here riding curb lane all the way down the street and i'm you know of course, when I turn on this bitch, I'm not riding curb lane. I went over to the left lane immediately. I don't see why people ride down a curb lane the whole fucking length of the street. I swear to God, people gonna tear their fucking cars up doing that shit. I don't know how I had an accident. Well, maybe you stay out of the fucking curb lane, scoot your ragged ass over to the left. You have more fucking, you know, vision. You can see shit. People don't smash into you. Like, man, that shit irritates me. Because it's like... How long have you been driving to where you haven't recognized or realized most accidents occur curb lane? I mean, I've been doing this shit for a long time. Driving since I was like 15 years old. 35 years fucking driving. Most accidents occur in that fucking curb lane. So I stay the fuck out of it. And that's why I tend not to have accidents. I know I talk about wrecks a lot because I see wrecks a lot. I prevent wrecks a lot. But that's how you prevent it. You talk about it. You discuss it. You understand where the wrecks occur. You stay the fuck away from curb lane. That's how you do it. When you need to make a right turn, get over. Man, look, surge all over the place, except where I am, of course. They start to try to build it up downtown a little bit. I know Lyft's got some. What is Lyft up to? 825, so they went up, now they're going back down. I can make it down there. Hopefully I get down there, do a few short trips, and then shit. Yeah, let's get this money. Let's get this, damn, it's up to 925. Let's go online. Let's see if they give me some surge down there. I'm going to see if they give me a ride with surge added. Nope. They got me picking up somebody downtown on the footprint. No surge added at all. But people down there got 925. I don't get shit. $18 for fucking 23 miles. No surge added to it. But the people down there are getting surge. Yeah, I'm turning this shit off. Fuck that. You ain't suckering me to go down there for free. I'll drive down there, but I ain't doing no fucking free rides. Nope. They got 950 down there in Surge, and they trying to use me. Hey, Jeff, go down there. Nope. Fucking throw some Surge on that shit. I'll go pick them up. Otherwise, fucking, I'll drive down there and get Surge when I get there. I ain't picking up no fucking body. Not for free. Shit. Use a driver that's already down there. 
Okay, the closer I get, the higher that surge goes. That's what I'm talking about. We're up to 1050 now. As soon as I hit this, get off this highway and hit it, I'm gonna probably get 1050. So, you know, and I know they're gonna try to give me nature hikes right off the fucking bat. Chandler, Gilbert, Glendale, right off the fucking bat. That's what they're gonna try to do. So I'm not turning my app on until I get off the highway. And once I do that, let's see if this ragged ass car in front of me will fucking hit the gas pedal. Man, I can't stand slow drivers. I swear to God, I wish there was some a, like a kill switch in my fucking car that would just make shit people shit die so they can get off the road. <laughs> Hit an automatic kill switch. Kill a fucking car. Get off the road. Fucking pull that shit over. Fucking wait till I'm clear past you and that motherfucker fire back up and you can take off. <laughs> like, why my car just died? This motherfucker's got a kill switch in his car. Well, traffic's kind of building up. I can see it. I can see it. All right, let's turn this raggedy motherfucker on. $11, let's go, let's turn it on. What do we got going? Let's see, how much you gonna give me? $9 off the bat, 11 off the bat, what you gonna give me? $15, look at that, 575 surge, doubt it. Don't think so, you gotta give me more than that. $7, now we getting somewhere. Man, look at all them fucking trips popping up. Yeez, extra comfort, extra everything. $14 for seven miles with a $7 bonus? I don't think so, we could do better than that. We could do a little bit better than that. Let me scoot over some. $22 for like almost 20 miles. Ah, we could do better than that. I know you guys are paying some good money to get out of this fucking spot, so let's let's get money. Let's get money. $17 for like 14 miles. Ah, let's not. Let's not and say we did. How about that? Let's just not and say we did. <laughs> $20 for 12 miles almost. Nah, cool. Cool on that shit. Cool on that shit. Alright, let's see where we at. 17 for 10? No, I don't think so. I said this is game night. We know there's a lot of people out here paying for games and trying to get shit going. So uh, 17 for nine miles? No, we're cool on that shit too. Alright, let's see what we can do. I'm gonna cruise around this way. Hopefully I get like a four or five mile trip. No, 19 miles? I don't think so. I mean $19 or 12 miles? No. Like I said, everything's going to be nature hikes for a minute. They're not going to give me shit short. Man, look at all these cars. 19 for 8? No, still not doing that yet. Like I said, we're going to try to do a trip that's short. Not 27 miles. No, no. $28, 27 miles? No, we're cool. And that's with a $10 bonus. So let's see if we can get something short. 21 for 15? No, that's $5 they're willing to give me. $5 for 15 or $10 for 15 miles. So we're not gonna do that. Let's see what else we got coming down the pipe. Man, look at all them trips. $30 for 20, nah, we're cool on that shit. All nature hikes. And the good thing what could be was to get, make turnies into cash rides. You get there, you tell them how much you're being paid and you get cash rides for them. But I just don't feel like playing with these people tonight. Like I said, I tried it earlier. Shit didn't work out too well for me, so I'm kind of done with these motherfuckers. Let them pay what they're going to pay. 14 for three miles. Woo, that's kind of... That's where we at. Oh, man. I don't know about that. No, nah, let's not. Let's not. Because that's on Washington. Anything that says Footprint Center, I'm not fucking with. Okay, that's over on Adams. $19 for eight miles. Mmm... Nah, let's not. Let's look at some five miles or less. That's what I'm waiting on. Something a lot shorter than that. 27 miles? Fuck no. Nah. 27 miles for $35? Dope. We're cool on that shit. Because that's a one-shot deal. You get this surge once and you don't see that motherfucker again. 23? Nope. These trips are all too far. All too far. 19? Nope. 19 miles? Nope. Anything that's under five miles, I'll consider it. But it has to be off, away from the fucking thing. Seven miles, mm, Adams in first. Nope, let's not. Let's not. Still not that. Eight miles, nope. We're not gonna do that either. Like I said, it has to be, it has to be less than like five miles or less I could deal with. Oh, that's close, but it's at the Footprint Center. I don't want to do Footprint Center. I want to do something like on Adams Street, something like that I could do. Washington, Jefferson, and Footprint Center are definite no's. Footprint Center, definite no. 
Like they got people got to learn to get away from the footprint center because there's way too much traffic and we can't make left turns. Footprint center, nope. Like I don't give a fuck what if if it says footprint center is an automatic no. I don't give a fuck what it is. If they say hundred dollars, nope. Fuck that. Monroe. Oh, let's see. Let's accept that. Let's go try Monroe. Let's see. Monroe's up a little bit. Yeah, now we can get it. This little car be fucking punching. You punch the button, this motherfucker will go. All right, so she's over here, which is exactly where I would rather be because it's not Footprint Center. Footprint Center is right over here. So you don't want to be anywhere over here on Footprint Center because once you get locked in there, you're locked in. That's the Footprint Center right there. You get locked in there. So I'm going this way. And now I'll pick her up up there, take Jack seven miles. I keep saying her. Jack seven miles. And then I'll turn around, try to pick this surge up a, another time. We'll see if I can get more surge. But I was hoping for something five miles, not seven. But tonight, it could be Beamer Bucks night. You know what I'm saying? Put this motherfucker in sport mode, Beamer Bucks. Let's go. Fuck that shit. Say, I'll make it back to the surge because I got sport mode with a new charge pipe. Beamer Bucks. Beamer Bucks. <laughs> What was funny so as i'm driving they're trying to send me all of these rides and i'm like what the hell oh that's emergency exit only all right yeah so they try to send me all these rides because i'm outside of the surge zone i was like why are they sending me all these fucking rides no wonder look at where they got me just outside the surge zone and they try to send me to the airport i'm nine miles away from the airport they try to send me an airport ride nine miles south to pick up somebody but when I pick them up, wait a minute, I don't know how to get out of here. I'm going to go back this way because I don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah, but so what, they try they try to get me to go nine miles south for like this shit right here. This is what I'm talking about. Ten miles south, 22 mile ride all the way down there for twenty seven dollars for three seventy five surge. That's it. I'm like, that's like fucking 40 minutes of driving for twenty seven bucks. I'm like, hell no, I'm not doing that. I'm not even near a surge right now because I'm just north of this. I'm trying to get to this surge right there. So the fact that they got me right up to 51, it's cool because I can hit the 51 and go back down. But the fact that they're trying to get me to do this shit for dirt cheap, for like $3.50 surges and shit like that, knowing downtown we got way more. Look at that, $8 for that. But I'm going the opposite direction right now. So no, we're not doing that. I'm going the opposite direction. I'm gonna hit the 51 right now. So I'm gonna turn this app off so they don't fuck with me. There, turn that shit off. I'm gonna go down and hit the 51, get back to downtown, get some of this surge so I can, you know, do some fucking rides. Cause I'm not gonna sit there and let them fucking play me like that. Give me $3.50 or give me no surge. And downtown is looking like that right now. I'm headed back down there. I'm just, like I said, I'm just to the north of the surge right there. I'm gonna hit this 51, drop into it, turn my app on while I'm still on the highway, see if I can get some money. Okay, these are all the trash rides they trying to send me right now. Because I'm not there yet. Nine, I got an $8 surge, so that's $12 for 19 miles is what they're trying to give me. I'm not taking it. But I, like I said, I still got my $8 surge. I'm back into the surge zone right now on the highway. I'm going to cruise over, jump up on 7th Street, and see what I can get. I need to be somewhere away from the fucking footprint center. That's all I know. <laughs> it's like, shit. This little car is moving, boy. I told you, fucking Beamer Bucks. Beamer Bucks. Motherfuckers trying to send me some shit. What was that? $13 for like six miles with $8 surge. That means they pay me $5 for like almost seven miles. No, nah, let's not do that because that's airport. We're not going to the airport for $13. We're not doing that. Airport is a no-no for the day. $18 for 13 miles. Nah, we don't think so. Let's not do that. I'm looking for something less than. Total has to be less than fucking like nine miles. Total less than nine, I'll take it. That's total's not less than nine. That's about 13 miles right there. I'm looking for a total less than nine miles. Uh, definitely not. 24 miles to $23 with the fucking bonus? I doubt it, pal. I doubt it. So let's see. What do we got? Ooh, we got $13 sitting right there. I'm getting off at 7th Street. I might get you 13. I just might fucking get you 13. Shit. Let's go. Wait a minute. Oh, $28 for like fucking 20. Nah, 25 miles. We cool on that shit. I might get 13 right now. Shit, 13 is like, come pick me up. I'm trying to get to the party, motherfucker. Pick me up. I'm trying to get to the party. 
Let's go pick up 13 take 13 to the party. I'm going to drop off 8 and pick up 13. <laughs> Look at that shit. Not 13 miles. Fuck that dumb shit. Yeah, we're done with that. Out of here. Where we at? Is 13 still hanging out down there? Yep, 13. How far down is 13? Yeah, that's not cool. All these fucking nature hikes, we're not taking no nature hikes. Yeah, we ain't doing no nature hikes right now. So I just got to get down the street. Nope, $15 for 10 miles. Nope. Like I said, everything we doing has to be less than, I'm thinking less than nine miles. That's not less than nine miles. That's going back to the airport anyways. We're not doing airport. So, I said, if I can get down the street, pick up this 13, that's six extra dollars from what I'm sitting at, almost double my money would surge. Pick that shit up and be like, hey, no nature hikes, no fuckery, let's go. I haven't turned Uber back on yet because Uber's fucking around. What is that, $15 for like nine miles? Nah, we cool. We cool on that shit. I'm gonna head down here and pick up 13, take 13 to the party, shit. 13's like, pick me up, I wanna see too. Shit, $21. Nope, not doing it. I said, how, where am I at? Am I at $10 yet? $11, where am I at? Seven, still. All right, I guess so. Motherfucker's not giving me this money. 13 is sitting right there. 14 for that? Uh, no, nah, I'd rather go get 13. If I can go get $13, that's a guaranteed $13, which is $1 less than that shit right there. So I can drive right here and get $1 less than what they tried to have me do. <laughs> See that shit? Nine miles. All I got to do is go like maybe two miles and I get $13. If I go two miles and pick up this $13, that's two miles I made. But these motherfuckers trying to pay me $14 to go like 10 miles. I'm like, I can get $13 if I just go another couple of miles. I'm good. $15 for that? No, we're not going back to the airport. Nope, nope. Like I said, this is crazy. Come on, we can get there. We can get there. How close am I? Oh, I might have to. Seven dollars, forty dollars for that? No, we're not doing that. Sky Harbor? No. Then you got to go wait. No, fuck that. Nope, no. Nope. Forty dollars way out to the west. They still ain't giving me that thirteen. Where are we at? Where are we at? Give me that thirteen. Y'all motherfuckers know I'm sitting on it. You know it. These cars are moving too fucking slow for me. Let's go. Now we're moving. Now we're moving. Seven dollars. Nope. Still not what I was looking for. Where's that 13 at? You cheating motherfuckers. I'm at 850 right now. You lying sacks. Where's my 13 dollars at? Hold up for a second. Maybe they took it. Who knows? Maybe they took my 13 bucks. Cause I'm at 850 and I don't see it yet. And I only had to drive this far to get to it. I knew where I was going. It's ten dollars on the event itself. It's like, come on, man. Where's my fucking money at? If I do a 30 mile, 30 dollar trip, I'd be closer to getting 200 on Lyft alone. But I don't know. Where's my motherfucking 13 dollars at? Y'all played me, man. So I'm sitting here, I got $8.50 out of that, and I only added $1.50 to my seven bucks. They're playing games with me, playing games with me. Don't play with my money, Smokey. Yeah, because Uber ain't had shit going all night, for real. Ooh, I see a bunch of traffic cones up there. Traffic cones, motherfucker, we got traffic cone soup. Yeah, they got shit everywhere down south. Ain't nobody trying to go down there right now. Just leave Uber where Uber's at. Oh, Eighteen dollars for that? No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're gonna pull over here. I'm on Thursday right now. I'm pulling into this little fucking hideaway for ride share drivers. Somebody probably run up on me. Uber Jeep <laughs> and a fucking BMW. Uber Jeep. All right, I'm at nine dollars. Let me turn my lights off, kick back for a second, see what kind of trash they got. What kind of trash you got for Uber Jeep AZ? <laughs> Uber Jeep AZ sanitation services picking up trash on Christmas. Fuck these people. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. 
Hold up for a second. All right. Looks like people are trying to. Let me go inside of Uber real quick. Because you know if I turn on Uber, they're going to be fucking scared. They're going to be like, oh, shit. Jeff's getting on Uber. All right, let's see what we got over here. $13 for that. Let's accept that. Oh, where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, Adrian. All right, you raggedy motherfucker. Adrian, you fucking ragamuffin, you motherfucker. And this is the kind of shit I'm talking about. Here I am right here, and this motherfucker's constantly walking up the street way up there. Man, fuck these people, man. This is what I'm talking about. Fucking bullshit. Can't stand these motherfuckers, man. And I'm gonna see if he... I'm right here. So, his ass better come over here, because I swear to God, I'm about to cancel this motherfucking ass in two seconds. Let me cruise right here. All right. His ass better. He better get down here. I'll tell you that much. He better get the fuck down here. Look at your shit. Know where you at. Yeah, you better start walking over here, motherfucker, because I swear I'm going to hit this motherfucking button and I'm out of here. I don't know why he didn't just look at his fucking pickup icon and show where he was. Fucking stupid, man. People are fucking nuts. But he's on his way. He's on his way. Time's a wasting. This is why I don't like picking up some trips downtown. These motherfuckers don't know where to go. I always cancel shit when it's downtown because I just don't have time to fuck with these people. They be all over the place. It's like, man. Bro, what the fuck are you doing, man? Man, fuck this shit. I ain't got time for this shit. Fuck this. I gotta go. It's like, come on, goddammit, drive past me. Cancel that shit. I don't have time for that shit. Nope, I'm not doing that one either. Just because y'all pissed me the fuck off. I'm not doing that one either. I'm fucking wasting my goddamn time. It's one thing I don't like. Don't waste my fucking time. It's like, shit. It's like, motherfuckers be like, no, nah, definitely not no seven fucking miles away. Because if I got to cancel a motherfucker, I don't have to drive seven miles just to cancel some fucking body. I'd rather drive a mile or two because I cancel a lot. Because I don't fuck around with people. So if it's far away, I just don't even take it. Because I know me. And I'm like, if you're a mile away, I'll drive a mile away, half a mile away. Because I might cancel your ass. So I'm not driving seven miles to cancel your ass. Oh, $13 for that? Let's take it. Let's take it. Fuck it. Let's go. All right, this motherfucker better be there. Because Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer looking ass motherfucker, you better be there. Swear to God, I'm going to leave your motherfucking ass on the sleigh. Your ass going to be like, where the fuck did my car go, man? Fuck you. If you ain't on the right side of the street, I'm gone. We're off the fucking bat. I'm gone. Yeah, they keep trying to send me to the airport, and I keep declining that shit. I just dropped off Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and they trying to get me to go to fucking... What was downtown? Yeah, I'm not going back downtown. They got 11 drivers at the airport. And see, they keep trying to send me to the airport. I'm not going over there, though. That's the thing. It's like, because I know it's probably fucking crazy over there. And I'm not about to spend 20, 30 minutes trying to get in to pick up somebody just to find out they got too much fucking luggage for my little small-ass car. I'm not going over there. I'm cool on that shit. It's like, this is just, like I said, look at this. They keep doing it over and over again, trying to get me to go to fucking, like, nope, I'm not going to the airport. These prices don't make sense to me anyways. I don't like how low they are. Like I said, not from the airport. They're just, they're not the prices I'm looking for. I can't fuck with it. And the further I get away from that surge, the cheaper those rides get. So the less of a chance they're going to get to even get fucking picked up. It's like in my car at least. Hopefully one of those drivers over at the airport go get them. I mean, they just sitting there not doing shit any fucking ways. It's like, hell. Motherfuckers going to be mad as shit, man. I can't get picked up at the airport. Talk to the fucking app. Be like, stop holding my fucking pay. Pay these drivers. Stop fucking with us, Lyft. Stop fucking with us, Uber. Pay these drivers. Oh, hell no. Comfort. Look at that. Eight miles, eight dollars. What a three dollar bonus for comfort. So that's five dollars for eight miles for comfort. Shit, doubt it. No, I'm going to turn off Lyft right now anyway. I've been driving on Lyft for a minute. I think they need a fucking break. They've been fucking with me. So let's go on Uber real quick. Because Lyft is getting way too fucking comfortable. They're sending too much bullshit. You're getting too comfortable with me now. I'm like, hey, just keep sending them bullshit. Nope, doubt it. Let's fucking turn on Uber real quick. See what these raggedy motherfuckers got. 
They probably made me take a picture knowing them. Take a picture. It's like, not now. They'll probably send me some fucking 50 cent a mile rides right off the bat. Was that $10 for 11 miles with 425? Nah. We cool on that shit. We cool on that. We cool on that shit. Because they're trying to make send me over to the airport, and I'm not trying to do that. Because all these people are stuck at the airport right now with no way to get home. See, like that shit, 467 for like almost nine miles. Oh, we cool. Three bucks on Christmas? Doubt it. No luck for three bucks. Motherfucker, that's the name. No luck for three bucks. <laughs> Three bucks out of luck, looking ass motherfuckers. It's like, nope. They still got bars open down here on Christmas night, too. Motherfuckers is out because ain't nobody got to work tomorrow. Five dollars, I ain't gonna holla. Fuck that shit. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Let's see what else they got going on out here. Like I said, I only got 46 bucks over here. And over here, I got what, 170. So I'm over 200 for the day, but still, I should be at like, for a holiday, you should be over at 500. At least 500 for a holiday. Yeah, we're gonna turn off Uber. I think Uber's done, anyways. They really ain't got they ain't got shit going. So, yeah, I'm not updating. Fuck that. Where we at? Tempe's kind of dried up downtown. Still looking like that. And the guys, when I picked up Rudolph, he said that they was charging him fifty dollars. That's why they walked like a mile down the road because it was cheaper. He says, yeah, they was trying to charge us $50. I was like, damn. I didn't ask him how much they eventually paid, but he said they didn't pay $50 for sure because they walked just so they can get out of the surge zone. Charge people like, and they would have probably, out of that $50, they would have probably gave me like fucking $16 out of the $50. That's how those motherfuckers, and kept $36. That's how those motherfuckers are doing this holiday season because they paid me $13 for the ride I did take. A mile extra down the road, they would have probably gave me another three fucking dollars. Nah, we cool on that shit. We're not doing that. $14 for like 21 miles? Nah, we cool. We cool on that shit. 350? Nah, that's that's in the middle of no fucking where. Three dollars for that? Uh let's take it. Fuck it. It's Walmart. It's Walmart. So we just gotta go down here to Walmart, pick a motherfucker up. Alright, that's monkey pants. Oh, across the street from Walmart. Alright, bet. You only got to go like a mile to home. This is going in my direction any fucking ways. So I'm headed towards my house. Might as well pick his monkey pants ass up. <laughs> fucking, I would never name my bar monkey pants. Motherfucker, monkey pants. In here scouting some rides on the side of the road. Let's see what exactly they're going to give me. Uh, wait a minute. They got a parking lot next to me. I'm going to go to this parking lot. Oh, do I want to do that? $8 for that. Mmm. Nope, I don't. I don't want to do that either. Like I said, I want to do something like a little bit easier. A little more money. At least 10 bucks. Give me something for at least $10 and I'll consider it. Because I'm tired of these little fucking penny rides and shit. I just did a $3 ride just now. That was that little fucking... Wait, $10? No, that's 9 I don't want to do 9 I want to do at least 10 So this was that little quick penny ride I did right there for 3 fucking dollars and 3 cents. Is it? Because I was just down here. I already cashed out my money earlier. So now I'm just trying to see what else they give me. Six bucks for that? Mm, let's take it. All right, let's go. It's not as much as I want, but it gets me, you know, around the fucking corner. So let's go around the corner and see what fucking Victor's going to get. And hopefully, I do this ride. They don't try to send me some whack shit. They're trying to send me another whack fucking ride. I'm going to keep going offline again. Because there's surge everywhere. They're trying to send you rides without surge. If they ever send you a ride and there's no surge attached, go offline immediately. Don't even fucking second guess it. If they send you a ride with no surge, go offline immediately. When you turn it, like that's what happened with that little $3 ride. As soon as you turn your phone back on, you're going to have surge. So don't let them keep stacking your fucking app with rides because they're not going to have surge on them. That's what they do. They wait till you hit a, a spot where there's no surge and they send you a ride. It'll be like a small gap in, on a street or two. And you'll be like, okay, you'll go a quarter of a mile and you'll get like four or five pings real quick. You're like, God damn, why did I get four or five pings? Because you've been sent at these stoplights there where there's no surge at. So once you get to a place where there's surge, 
you're not going to get a whole lot of good pings. But they're going to ping the shit out of you as long as you're in an area with no surge. That's how they're doing it. And I know that shit. That's why when I see it happening, I hear up and turn my phone off. As soon as you turn it back on, you're close to a surge. You're like, no wonder they were sending me all them fucking rides. I knew something was up. Yeah, I've been sitting here for about a minute, almost a minute and a half, and this motherfucker ain't coming out the building. I'm looking to see if anybody's moving around in there. I don't see nobody fucking moving around in there. So I'm probably going to pull up a little bit and, you know, yeah, you know, let's just cancel this one. Motherfucker be taking too long. I'll tell you what, that's what we're going to do. We're going to just be done with this one real quick, and I'll just grab another ride. Because I don't like that shit. Don't, don't have me outside fucking waiting. That's one thing I don't like. And these motherfuckers ain't tipping anyway, so they not. If they were tipping, I'd be more inclined to wait. I don't get a lot of fucking tips, so I don't fucking wait on people. This is how I fucking operate. Like, look at this shit. How many rides I do today? Sixteen rides and two tips. And motherfuckers wonder why I don't wait on people, cause I don't fuck with people. It's like for the the people that did get rides, be lucky, cause I don't even wait on fucking people. So be lucky, cause for the motherfuckers that make me wait, they still don't fucking tip any fucking ways. Trust me. So that's why I like, fuck that shit, I'm out. I know Lyft gonna be mad as a motherfucker. Like, Jeff, quit canceling people. I'm like, man, fuck you. Give me my motherfucking tips. I'll stop canceling people because I know people be fucking trying to hook me up. Like, $8 for that shit? Nah, we cool on that. Wait a minute, we ain't in no surge any fucking ways? Yeah, we ain't in no surge. Let's get offline. Fuck these motherfuckers. I don't drive it if ain't no surge. Yeah, but those raggedy motherfuckers don't want to give me my tips. Nobody want to tip me. I don't wait. I just get the fuck out of there. I don't got time for that bullshit. I think I'm gonna pull a plug on the night. I got what 190 sitting over on Lyft and 46 still on Uber. So about 200 and what? For thirty dollars, 200, yeah, 40 bucks. It's 46 right there. 46 and 190, about 236. So I don't know. Might call it good. I've been on, you know, I've been running this motherfucking app today for about eight and a half hours. Then I had to, you know, Uber. I've been running that in the background. They ain't got shit right here. What? had them online for about a few hours right there Uber, Lyft still trying to send me shit but all these trips are bullshit I'm not reversing and going backwards I'm not U-turning to go pick up motherfuckers like, like they could have did that shit a while back I'm not doing all that I was just down there a second ago and I didn't want me to fucking like U-turn and go back there it's like nope fuck there's not enough money to U-turn if you ain't paying me I'm not fucking U-turning this car I'm going in one direction and that's it you want me to turn around fucking pay me cause like I said these motherfuckers ain't even tipping Look at that shit, I got three tips all night. That's it. Nope, not going backwards. Look at that shit, I got fucking three tips all fucking night. That's it. 17 rides, three fucking tips. Five, five, and a three. That's it. So, yeah. That's Christmas right there. Motherfuckers ain't even the Christmas spirit. Was it nine bucks to go backwards? Uh, Nah, we're not going backwards. That's way too far. I'm headed home anyways. Let me turn this shit off. It's 1.30 in the morning. I think I'm done for the night. Yeah, it's like I said, ain't nobody tipping any fucking ways. Nobody in the Christmas spirit. So I'm not feeling in the Christmas spirit either. My first ride of the night was a Christmas spirit fucking ride. I gave somebody a long ass fucking nature hike for $23. That was my Christmas spirit ride. That motherfucker didn't even tip me. And now out of 17 rides, you know, over here, 17 rides, three tips. And over on Uber, I did three rides and I think I got two tips. So what? wait a minute, let me see. Three rides, yeah, two tips. So I did 20 rides, 20 rides a day, and five motherfuckers tipped me out of 20 rides. That's the Christmas spirit we talking about. So, you know what, my app is off. I'm sorry, it's 1.30 in the morning. Motherfuckers are still at the airport stuck. A lot of people been trying to hit me up with airport rides all night. My Christmas spirit is ended at 1 fucking 30. Merry Christmas, motherfuckers. Hope y'all get home. <laughs>